will be on the screen until it's released in six days, three hours, 53 minutes, and 52 seconds, approximately. Uh, this, of course, will be on Game Pass and Steam, GOG, and Epic, and all those other cool places. And good news! I was able to fix our save yesterday somehow. Don't ask me how. People will be asking. And honestly, I'm not sure. What I uh, may have done is, uh, I don't know, I, I must have tweaked something on Steam or something somewhere got tweaked and uh, it works again. So, yeah. I was really actually very sad yesterday. <laughs> I was. We built this uh, city for like 40 plus hours and then we came back for our PM stream, couldn't get it to work. So we took a look at one of the new game modes. New as in like we hadn't yet taken a look at it before. We were taking a look at the... Uh, game mode known as On the Edge, which is essentially build a village, but also you'll be attacked the whole time by bandits, which is actually kind of a cool game mode. I, that, that might be one I want to play next, instead of challenging the uh, uh, the enemy lord, which seems kind of like still a TBD work in progress. Um, it seems like it'll be a lot cooler to just fight the, the bandits, which will be constantly invading and uh, attacking, and it just seems like a more common threat than like dealing with an enemy lord. So anyway, welcome. Good to see you all here. Let's jump back in and get locked in for uh, a wonderful uh, another stream. We'll get uh, back to where we were and uh, see if we can have some fun times. Hopefully it works. It, it did it when I tested it, so we're all good. Everything's locked in and awesome. If you haven't found out yes, uh, recently, I found out the food uh, issue supply... Uh, to markets building it more grand oh 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 i see what you're saying if you haven't found out already i found out that the food issue supply to markets is building more granaries they supply all the food to the markets true okay so you're saying well that means we need more market stalls then right oh look at this no no crazy scroll into the sky everybody we got it locked in we walk around randomly yeah we did it okay don't know what was causing the problem don't know how I fixed the problem, which sucks because someone will encounter that problem, and I want Greg to be able to fix it because with all the people playing this game in the future, in the next coming days, well, there could be thousands of people who have that issue. So hopefully, Greg will see um, that stream and then be able to figure it out. And if he needs my save files, I'll send him over. But, uh, you know, he's got other stuff going on. He's being a, a Sir Greg. All right, here's some good news, folks. We have ourselves a new region to claim, and it's early March. We fought our battle and won. Oh, no, it's doing it again. What? Wait, it only seems to do that when we go to this region here. <gasps> Chat, I thought we fixed this. No. It has something to do with this region. Wait, enemies are below the map. Are they? No. No way. Bro, I tested this for like an hour. What is this? Oh, it's a King's Road. No way, dude. No. No, we were locked in. We had this fixed, baby. No. Uh, your character can only wear red. You can't really customize your, your walkable dude at the moment. But uh, there's a couple of portraits you can name yourself. And then you just walk around as, as a dude. But it's a work in progress. Yo, Chris, thank you very much for the 35 months as a Raptor Plus member, dude. Thank you very much for getting locked in with the uh, with the membership. Um, okay, but now it's not doing it here. I think it, I think it has something to do with that district or that region. Let's try again. Yep. No. Dude, what? I solved it. What happened? No, dude. No, we were we were locked in. We were good. No, dude. Where's the main town? No, what? I Bro, I made a whole video here. No. Don't do this to me. No. No. We're back in the same boat as yesterday. No, I fixed this. Is there some other program running that's confl- oh, I couldn't- I, I couldn't figure that out. Damn it, man. No. I want to build here. This is my home. From homies. I was able to record a whole video and have no issues. Damn it, man. Ah. Um. Hmm. 
Where was that enemy army, by the way? Okay, they're... They're right here. I don't know, would it fix it if the... Alright, we gotta do some experimentation. Damn it, man. Uh, dude, I had no issues. I tested this thing for like an hour last night with no issues. Zooming around the map and everything. I'm gonna see if they, if they leave the map, if somehow... I don't know, if the AI despawns its army, if that fixes things. Are they under the map or what? They look like they're under the map. Nope, that doesn't solve it. Hmm. Now, we could test a few things like, you know, restart Steam, but that didn't do it. We could verify game cache, that didn't do it. Reinstalling the game didn't do it. Restarting this, the stream and, like, my PC... Even if any of that helps, if the issue happens again, it doesn't like permanently fix the issue. What if we load another save? No, that's probably not going to be a help. Hmm. Did I have OBS when I had it working again? Yeah, because I would... Last night I recorded a video for about an I was uh, doing about an hour's worth of like uh recording and taking a tour of the city to make sure everything worked. So Yeah, and it goes immediately into the scroll. Damn it, man. Um Okay, a couple things. Uh, oh man. Dude, I want to give you guys you guys are the best and I want to give you the best and when I can't do that and figure it out, uh it's uh very Frustrating. Uh, can I wait for the game? Yeah, same here. I um, oh, I, w I wouldn't even been this excited this morning if I knew it didn't work. Because last night, I, oh, may maybe it has something to do with like um, the, the the video mode that we're in. Like, let me try. No, I didn't make any changes to that. That doesn't make sense. What if we try uh, gameplay? What are we doing this now? Bo let's try borderless full screen. Although when the issue started happening, we didn't do anything to mess with the visuals. Oh, wait. No. I, th I thought that was a save of it being fixed. Wait, can I load a quick... Ah! Here's a save of it actually working where it autosave. Let let's try the autosave. None of us are upset or disappointed. I know, but I am. And I want to make sure you guys get the best. Or at least my best. Which isn't always the best, but I got to make sure I feel like I have given what I could. And that's important to me. Nope, immediate scroll. What the f... Okay, um... My only other solution to this would maybe be to, like, restart PC and then, <laughs> and then never leave Manor Lord's chat. We might actually, in order for me to make videos on this channel... I'm sorry, guys, but we might have to become a full-time, non-stop, won't-stop, don't-stop Manor Lords channel. I won't be able to log out of my save, and we'll be stuck in the Middle Ages forever. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, officially today, <laughs> Greg has acquired the channel in a, a power move. <laughs> He's purchased it for $1.1. That's right, $1, one penny. All right, I'm going to do something real quick. Um... I'm going to patch something on Steam, and then we'll figure it out. Damn it, man. All right, so if you're joining us, here's what happened, right? So last night, uh, during our AM stream, the game was working perfectly, and we had completed a battle where we claimed an enemy region. And, uh, you know, basically we, we had a big old fight, and uh, the enemy gave up, and you saw their troops kind of retreating from battle and whatnot. So we claimed a new zone in the lower right corner, and it was red. And then I zoomed around. I was like, what the hell is going on? The camera's goofing out. Like It's like infinitely zooming to the sky. And I also like went into the walk-around mode and would fall through the ground. So it was like either... It was like pushing us away from like being able to see the map. So it was either you know infinite zoom out or infinite falling. So I was like, well, whatever. I'll just reload. The, I'll save and reload. Didn't work. All right, I'll verify the game cache. Didn't work. I'll reinstall the game. Didn't work. I'll restart Steam. Didn't work. 
uh, reloaded a bunch of other saves. It actually worked when I went far enough back, but we were talking about like three, four, five days of like 12 hour streams. So that ain't gonna work. Like that, technically it fixes the problem, but it doesn't, it's not gonna be fun to restart like that far back. So, um, last night I played like Gray Zone Warfare with my friends, and when I was done with that stream, I went and grabbed something to eat, came back, loaded into one of the saves, and then magically somehow it worked. Which is what I was saying this morning, like, somehow, just magically, I was able to record like a, uh, well, I, I, I goofed around with it for about 30 minutes to see if it was actually truly working, and I tried to zoom around, walk around, everything was great, and I recorded for about, you know, 35 minutes or so, and it all worked, so, um, so coming in this morning, I was like, oh, damn, finally, we're locked in, we're gonna get back on track. And now we're off the rails on a crazy train again. That's crazy. So, yeah, interesting. Oh, you're already subscribed? Thank you for subbing to the channel, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, exclamation point Twitch, exclamation point Instagram. I'm just um, downloading something else for later today for another stream. I'm just getting it upgraded. So thanks again for the patience, folks, and, and being the number one number ones that t ever have number one, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I can't wait for this game either. I'm really excited. Again, release day... We're down to uh, six hours, three minutes, 42. Uh, it might be, uh, sorry, six days, three hours, 42 minutes. And, of course, that's approximate, you know. I just put it to noon my time on the 26th, which by then it must be out. So hopefully that's when it'll drop. Good morning, Frakla. Um, all right, if we, do a, if we restart the stream, I hope it doesn't cut the stream. The problem with this is that we're also using a restream program that might end the stream, and we might have to recreate a stream, and I don't want it to do that. So, before we do that, I'm going to try it Manor Lords one more time. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on. Manor Lords says that we defeated Hildebolt. Defeat uh, the Baron in the Restoring the Peace scenario. That makes it seem like we beat the, uh, the scenario, but that dude still has like two other claims. That's like kind of not an accurate uh, Steam achievement, I think. We only won one battle, but I would say... We've only completely defeated him when he's not, like, when he doesn't have a claim on the map anymore. Because we still have to claim the other two tiles. Or three. Or four. Alright, this, this is probably not going to work. So don't, don't get excited. Floppy, welcome back, dude. Oh, man, but we got six days at least to solve the issue. Yeah, no, nothing's plugged in. No, no, no Xbox controllers or anything are plugged in. So it should immediately start zooming to the sky again. What? It didn't? Wait, now it just works? All of this just works? All of this just works. What in the... Okay, well, we're locked into Manor Lords. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Hype and excitement. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement behind this... <sighs> We're not going to talk about it. Let's play Manor Lords. Woo! I have no idea what I, I have no idea what happened. I restarted the game, loaded, and then worked. I don't know what's going on, man. Okay, and now we have a new uh, city to build. So we're going to build over here. We're going to have to find... Uh, we're going to have to find out what to name the city. Also, because this works, I'm... Todd Howard came in and reprogrammed the game quickly. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Okay. My God. We're back into Manor Lords. Let's go, chat. The ex hype and excitement. Yeah, Dub's in the chat. Finally, man. And happy Saturday to all many now able to tune in. This is good. We don't have to restart. We can continue where we left off. And that is the most profoundly interesting thing. 
Okay, so we should definitely uh, conquer these lands up here, and it is March, so we got to get moving. Um, and I wanted to build a church up here and clear out all this land. We've got ourselves a, a clay deposit nearby. We'll deal with that later. Seems to be the only thing this land's got going for it is clay. All right, good, good. All right, let's go into our personal treasury. Um, how do we do this again? So if we want to claim new lands, we go to administration, then settlers camp. Yep. Oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, this sucks. When it rains, it pours. No. When it rains, the uh, of course, the ground uh, gets wet, and so does anything on it, including our food. I'm going to put the countdown timer down here. Just going to try to make it so it's not so in the way. But I know you guys want to know. Okay. All right, let's go. We're locked in. Manor Lords. Woo! All right, and we've made the most progress. This is, this is the best ever, man. We're the furthest in the game ever. Now, I hope, because it said that the Steam Achievement said that we defeated this guy, I hope that we don't not see his military when, when we continue to claim these areas. If I, if I click on this area and we click Claim with Influence, we'll get this area, and he should send out a military. But if he doesn't, basically we're back into peaceful mode because maybe on occasion bandits will attack, but... Um, if he's not going to fight us for the territories, it's like, kind of not, we're not in that game mode anymore. Like, we're, we're basically in peaceful mode. And I don't want to play in peaceful, you know what I mean? So we will eventually, bef before we go to, um, you know, the release of Manor Lords, I think maybe tomorrow night we will start a whole new scenario. And maybe we'll start up here or something like that. And we'll start in the on-the-edge game mode where we get attacked all the time. That one will be, I think, the most challenging of all the modes we played okay i'm gonna build a little camp down here just a little just a cute little you know pop and drop plentiful give me all of it everything we have now settled new lands um and we're gonna have to name them but i'll do that later actually maybe we'll call it uh, fritzburg which is hilarious in honor of Fritz, our ox. Actually, I'm going to do 2T because of Pittsburgh. Fritzburg, you get it? Nice. All right, we're in Fritzburg. Let's go. All right, I'm happy, guys. The, the, I'm locked in. This is a the hype and excitement. And I know it's a meme, but it's not. It's real. It's real. I'm feeling it, dude. I feel like dirty. I got the energy. Dirty Energy. <laughs> well, that's what his energy drink brand is going to be called. Dirty Energy. I can see it now. All the trees cleared. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Deforestation. Oh, we can also see the, uh, the slope. But I don't think we're going to get any flat area here at all. It's all going to be on a slope. There's a lot of slope. There's a lot of slope and curvature. Camo Meatball, 22 months. Hello, dude, and welcome to the Big O stream. Ah, yes. Is this the save? This is the one. It works. We're locked in. We're all good. Glad you're feeling better. Yeah, well, I was really... I didn't realize it, but I was, like, emotionally attached to this save. Like, I didn't want to... Well, you know, I, going back to that meme I was mentioning before, like, I want to do what I want to do, you know? Like, when I want to play a particular game, I want to play it. When I don't, I don't. And at that time, I wanted to play this, this game mode. And it was like, the game was like, no, dude, you need to play something else. And I was like, no, you can't tell me what to do. All right, check this out. I already got it. There's going to be a road swinging into here. And then we're going to have a road going this way to the Fuge. And also, there's berries next to it. Oh. And then I'm going to try to, um, yeah, this is the save with the camera bug. I'm going to do what Chad had mentioned about trying to build more granaries. Um, to try to fix the limited food issue. Not, not even limited food, but like dis it seems distribution was not going so well. But I think what that means is that, so more granaries mean more markets. But I don't know, that kind of just seems like bloat to me, because then you've got to build, um, you know, you, you've basically got to dedicate X number of your population to not just farming and making more food, but like putting it available in the markets, which I wish then in that case, um, we could just, you know, instead of building a granary and assigning people to that, it'd be cool to just assign more people to shops somehow. Because I feel like the granaries are full... 
And instead of building more buildings, all we would have to do is just build more market stalls. Because if a granary can support a ton of market stalls, then let's build the market stalls. But that's how it does it, you know. It does it by granary equals X number of uh, workers. Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm locked in. It's a Saturday now. Everybody should be filled with hype and excitement. I'm happy. It's the weekend. Happy we're closer to Manor Lord's release. Feeling locked in, man. Well, I don't know if I'd say the bug is fixed, because honestly, I think it could happen at any moment. So for now, we're just going to, uh, you know, say it's all fixed. And uh, it might not be. But... Man, this is a good song. So we're going to put the logging camp there, and then I'm going to cut down all these trees. I'm, I'm basically going to clear this whole corner. Like, this has just got to go. Getting in the way. You love me? I love me, too. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Mama. Yep, we put a little countdown to release day. Less than a week now. I said I'd do it, so that way we can uh, all take a look at it together. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's make a little path. And also, today I wanted to be playing, like, Anvil Empires. Uh, that's another game that's, like... F if you've ever seen Foxhole, which is kind of like a World War One, World War Two ish like, top-down shooter type thing, um, it actually allows you to build, like, b factories and train lines and stuff like that in that game. But they're making a sequel called Anvil Empires, which is that, but, like, medieval. So, you know, players have to work together to farm, transport goods to the front line, like, make bread... Like, you could literally just be in a baker's guild making uh, food for the front lines and stuff, which is infinitely fascinating to me. That a group, like, groups of thousands of players have to work together to, like, you know, win the war by, like, bringing stuff to the front line. Or building castles. And that's cool as hell. Like, imagine just mining stone all day, but you know that all that is going to help people build a castle. And then your faction wins, and that's cool. Uh, yeah, we will definitely play the uh, the last scenario from the beginning for sure. Yep, I, I want to play that too. We're definitely going to do that. 100%. You're definitely addicted to this game. <laughs> we need to send you some help. Ah, uh, don't worry. You know, honestly, after this comes out, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and let you get... Everybody will be playing this, and they won't be watching as many videos. I mean, maybe they'll watch a ton of videos, but... For me, it's like I've covered this so much now that after it releases, I'll be taking a little break and go and playing like Lasara Summit Kingdom or something. And then, dude, where's Manor Lords? Be like, dude, I played 100 hours. You go play it. It's a good game. Go get it. You know, that's what I'll say. Okay. So we've got our logging camp set up. Now where's our hitchin post? I love this initial setup for this game, by the way. Like setting up the damn um, the uh, initial layout is so fun. So fun. I'm a bit confused. Why do you keep making new cities? Well, it's part of the game. Like, um, so we have a city here, right? And this city is where we initially started in this part of the map. So the goal of the game is to conquer new regions and then build cities in those. So, like, it is part of the game to build a new city. Like, over here we built a new city in Wentworth. And this city is still kind of up and coming. So every time we set, uh, build a new city, if we upgrade it far enough to where we can get the manor, then we get more troops. So cities equal troops. So we want a big O army because that's cool. But in order to unlock more army, we need more of these buildings. And to unlock more of these buildings, we need more territory and population. So it's it's very much build city, build manor, build army, conquer region, build city, and then so on and so forth. So that it's literally the the part of the, it's it's part of the game. Like it's baked in. And so like, you know, we have our original city here, but now we branched out. So think of it like in City Skylines when you build like another like subdivision or another kind of town away from the main city, you know? <sighs> oh, 
Oh, you think two to three granaries per marketplace? I mean, I don't have a problem building more and finding out uh, if that actually solves the problem. If we look at this town, it, magically now this town's not having any sort of issues with food, but they're having a generic storage full issue, which is hilarious because this means that the the trade depot has loaded itself with 12 more supplies than it should have instead of just shipping out the stuff they've got. I, a trade is, um, I, I can't trade fast enough in this game. I could endlessly build trade depots and I just, I can't. <clears throat> uh, the map's pretty big, but it's not... I don't think it's the biggest map that we'll see. I think in the future, maps will be much bigger. I think this is just kind of a starter map that lets players build... Uh, without, like, cavalry or whatever. Now, where's that hitching post? Okay, I'll leave that there. And I'll immediately build another. Now let's build it here. Is that connected? Locked in. Actually, I'm going to build two. Cause... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so build that first. Then this should be highest. No, high. Very high. Okay. All right, go. Wait. Um, we should also lay out... I'm, I can't until they cut all those trees out of the way. So where's the, like, the low territory in this map? Like down here? That's actually kind of going up again, too. The low land would be about here, I think. Actually, it looks like it's about here. Yeah. But also, great clearing down here for, like, Tier 1s. All right, we're going to do some Tier 1 housing down there and then build all the good stuff up top. Why does it show negative 1? I think that might just be a game glitch. Uh, the King's Favor is not really implemented in the game yet. It's kind of a work in progress, so... But yeah, it's for diplomatic purposes and the game really doesn't have the diplomacy stuff started. So yeah, so now that we're building a new city, the number one question that will come in uh, to the to the stream is, is this a new save? Why are you building a new city? Why did you start over? And if everyone could just help me to clarify that uh, this is not a new save, we're just, we're building a new city in a newly captured region. So we're building our third city now out of uh, four or five districts that we hold. Actually, we hold four. So we built a ma main city here, our secondary city here, but this is where I've always wanted to build a city because of the beautiful rolling landscape and uh, the big hill. We're going to build a big old church up there. So we're continuing on. We're, we're going, this is the way forward, baby. This is the way forward. And is there oh, like a little hill here? Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, we're going to build some houses here. Off the King's Road. So between the two King's Roads, we'll build like a little tier one vegetable farm. Vegtoria. Yeah, the game has no business being this beautiful. Like it's it for a game that's so small in terms of its file size, it's ridiculously uh, gorgeous. Oh, there's like a little uh, a little lowland there. All right. No, I've never played Horizon Forbidden West, but I definitely would. That is definitely, definitely a game I would love to play. Or, well, actually, I should probably start with just uh, the original uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I actually have that on PC. I bought it. And never got around to playing it yet. I bought it on, like, a Steam sale. I'm like, I'll definitely play that. Never played it. <laughs> we'll have to do a backlog stream, you know? Like, maybe we'll start a series on the channel, which technically we, ha we had been every Friday. I was playing, like, um, Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden, and also um, we were playing um, Last Train Home. And, uh, of course, Banishers now is a gateway drug to play Vampire, which looks absolutely cool. Like, a really, really fun game, it looks like. Yep, get your flutes ready. 
What would be the big differences between this Farthest Frontier and New Cycle? Well, New Cycle is a, like a post-apocalyptic game. So that has like electricity and stuff like that and machines. So that you got to kind of think about that and automation. And then Farthest Frontier is more gridiron. But honestly, this has a little bit more to do with Farthest Frontier. You know, you're under attack all the time. Uh, you can build armies. But I would say even more than Farthest Frontier, this game is a little more... Uh, it's not as... Um, we, I feel like we can make a lot more progress in this game than in Farthest Frontier. But it feels that way, I think, because we're, we're settling multiple territories rather than just one big city. And um, I think in Farthest Frontier, it's wise to build one giant city and defend it uh, and put walls around it and stuff. But here, it's like you want things... Uh, you know, this is designed to where you're supposed to go to other regions. This is one of the things that I thought was cool about, you know, say what you want about SimCity from 2013, about 11 years ago. But the cool thing about SimCity 2013 is that everybody who played that game in multiplayer was supposed to, like, uh, build their own city that had a specialization. So someone would cover, like, uh, trash and industry, and someone else would cover, like, semiconductors and recycling, and someone would make the tourism town and... Um, if SimCity's going to come back, now's the time, you know, like, City Skylines 2 health bar has just been, like, cut in half, you know what I mean? Like, if it were an Elden Ring boss, it would be about time for the final, final blow. But EA is too incompetent and filled with greed. That'll never happen, Smiley. Should we build a giant vegetable farm? I think we should. How, bi how big can we make this uh, big O big? Oh, uh, that kind of cuts the plot a little bit. I think we need to make it so that way this is the most amount of land. And not really worry so much about the house. I could angle it, maybe? Nah. Oh, that's such a waste. The line should be here. How does it determine where the line goes? This is a good experiment. This is a good experimentation. Like, where? Do, how does the game determine where it goes? Get your flutes. What? <laughs> it made less of it. Um, let's try. Did I do it here yet? Let's try there. And I wonder if I make the plot smaller, if that makes it better. This is this seems the same. Well, better. But I want the line here. What if I rotate? Rotate and reduce. Rotate, reduce. No plot at all? The game has lost the plot. Uh, well, that, actually, the one on the left is great. Now the house on the right is ruined. Okay, let's try building here. No, I don't want to build in that pit. Let's try to build like that. Then we'll build it to the corner. It does look like I can kind of adjust the angle of the line. Hopefully it goes there. Ah, it keeps going right to the middle, man. So it seems like it's all determined on that house that's kind of slanted there. So if I can just make a house that's not going to be in an angle there, which it probably will be. My God. <laughs> all right, let's try building it over here. This is important, though, because the bigger we make this uh, plot, the more vegetables we get, and that's going to feed a ton of people. So it might seem um, not beneficial to spend time doing this, but honestly, this will help to feed a lot of people. Ooh, we have a winner. And unfortunately, it has to be in that damn slope. But actually, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, we'll have the house up on the hill and the house at the... All right, this is a winner. This is fine. Dubs. Okay, cool. Great plot. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do it again. Oh, and also that will count as two homes. So that's already two two families right there. Hmm. How many hours would you say this game offers in terms of different progression? Feels like you've done everything. Um, I mean, I have some personal goals in this game, like still playing a whole different game mode. Um occupying the whole map 
you know, building a town in every region. Um, more battles, higher difficulty. So I think this is the type of game where you, you play a few times to get the hang of it, and then once you got the hang of it, then you're locked in for like a full, you know, full map clear. But I think this would be the game where you might want to do that twice, and then you kind of, you know, get bored of Manor Lords, and you're like, ah, right, that was cool. And you shelf it for a while, and then boom, new, uh, you know, new content will be delivered or something. I'm trying to not, I don't want to cut that tree down. I'm trying to keep that tree. All this tedious stuff that I'm doing makes for gorgeous cities, somehow. Somehow I'm capable of that. Esmulo. Esmulio, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Lock it in. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much. All right, let's do some chicken coops or something here. Now, where's that tree trunk? Right about, oh, kind of there on that border. Eh, that's not going to allow for a burgage plot, but if we do this, will it? It does, but it's awkward. And that'll, and that'll allow for a plot. But what if I make it a little different? Smaller. Ooh. That's cool. I don't think there'll be enough space here for another one. Wow, it, there is. No way. I just want to cut that tree down. Whatever. Alright, that's a good starter. Alright, let's go. It has begun. Locked in, Lords. That's right. Yep, timer upper right corner. Release day very soon. Get excited. The hype hype train is already high speed, low drag, and all the way to the uh, station. Are, are you liking the game or just play it because of promotion? Just curious. Um, well, I've not been paid at all by Manor Lords to play this. But I saw the original trailer for Manor Lords about four years ago in 2020. I was like, oh, this game's going to be sweet. We'll see what this is. Two years after that, we got to play the demo for Manor Lords. Everybody did. It was on Steam. Part of the Steam Next event in, uh, in like, 2022. And after that, everybody's just been, like, hyped, hyped, hyped. And now that I get to play it, it's just it's it's great to finally be wherever here is. This is a starting point for a game that hopefully will only get better. So it is a it is certainly a a beautiful game. It's it's very refreshing to build so freely, and this is something I think players have wanted from any game for a long time. It just happens to be Manor Lords. I think this is a game that everybody's wanted to play for a long time, whether it be post-apocalyptic, but. I think the medieval thing with the burgage plots and the farming and the more survival aspect that makes it more like Banished is something we've all been waiting for. We all wanted this, but we just didn't know it would be this. So this is a game maybe perhaps we've been waiting for for like decades, if not more. We just didn't know it would be this. And it's beautiful. I cry. All right, we'll need a little... Um, market down there, but also we'll need a granary up here. I think maybe we'll build one down here just because this is where all, all the food will be gathered initially. Actually, true. We'll have vegetables coming from all these farms, meat and berries, so it would make sense to build a granary down here. You've been wanting this all your life? Yeah. Well, and you know, this also, again, this is, this is like playing I guess in a way, a heavily modded version of all the other games that we've played. Like, this kind of feels like Stronghold, but it's not. It feels like Total War, but it's not. It feels like City Skylines, but it's not. Um, it's it's really weird. It's like Banish, like a modded Banish, but it's not. Like, it's really... Yeah, it's like Farthest Frontier, and I like that game, too. It's, it's so weird, this game. Like, what it is was just a dude setting out to make a game for gamers. And now uh, this game is going to get critical acclaim... Uh, because it's just good and fun and doesn't have any of those, like, you know, battle passes or, like, you know, deluxe editions or any of that crap. It's like, you buy Manor Lords because the game looks cool. If you have fun with it, you play it and enjoy it. And if it sucks and you don't like it, you, you uh, return it or whatever. Get your money back. 
It's not going to hurt me or Greg or anybody else if you're not into it. That's totally fine. But it seems like more people agree that they want it, or at least to try it, which is beautiful. Multiplayer? Um, I mean, there's a possibility. I, I think the answer is, the, the short answer is no. The long answer is maybe, in time. A lot of time. There are certain games that got multiplayer that I ne never thought would get multiplayer, like Parkitect and stuff, which is why I love the hell out of that. If I could spend a whole weekend playing Manor Lords, like how I would play like a two or three hour battle of uh, Stronghold against Uthris, like I think me and Uthris would spend more time, if we were, if we started a military campaign to literally kill each other in this game, we, it would it would take two and a half IRL years. <laughs> We'd spend more time building beautiful cities than we would care about killing each other. Although maybe it'd be better for that, though. No more farthest frontier? Question mark. Not for a while, but uh, that game will come out this summer, and I love that game too. Like Manor Lords, in no way, shape, or form, makes me think any differently about Farthest Frontier, which is. A very well put together game with a lot of detail. Things from Banished that I like. Things from survival games that I like. And um, yeah, the folks over at Crate Entertainment, except for the attack that they launched on me and my personal self by adding the bear mode, which is, had something to do with chat, I'm sure. You guys put the bear mode in there. But uh, other than that, great game. I love it. And I, I hope uh, to see what they add to Farthest Frontier. Because they're going to add... I suspect they're going to add a lot more industry and things to it and some other secret and hidden stuff. I don't know what that game's going to be when it launches, but I don't care. I'm locked in. Father's Frontier, uh, one of the games that I've spent the most amount of time on. Maybe it's uh, important to also say on the channel like how much time I put in things, because people will be like, how's the game? What do you think of the game? Tell us about the game. What are your thoughts on the game? And sometimes, I don't know, I just like playing the game, but sometimes I like lasagna, I like pizza. You know, I like hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken wings, pad thai, ramen, but then there's like some foods that I have more than others. And then I think that's determined by outside forces like the weather, uh, how I'm feeling, you know, uh, what it pairs well with, you know. Like if I'm in the mood to have a beer, I'm probably going to have that with like a chicken wings and uh, pizza and not necessarily lasagna. If I have lasagna, it might just be a cool glass of water and some... Lagazanjk, which is going to be good. So, interestingly enough, I think there's so many more ways to look at games other than just in a bubble. Even if you're just looking at games within, like, the game industry itself. Yeah. Bum, bum. Yo, Guthrie, what's up, bro? Your channel rocks so much. My buddy and I were chatting the other night about... Uh, how you are the guy for RTS type games and it feels like love your reviews and uh, hype to see you always playing fun games oh I thought this was serious business I didn't realize this was fun yeah for sure and if you like RTS's this game's got that in there too so it's like when just when you didn't think this game could get any better it's like oh also we're gonna have medieval combat it's like no way probably not gonna be that great and then it's it's great it's actually great it's not the best ever it's not you know banner lords or whatever i mean uh yeah Mo it's not like mountain blade yet but it could be maybe it could go down that route maybe you know two three years from now greg will change his mind on something and be like you know what i'm gonna actually do that question says upgrades to storage been added in this version um no there's Tier 1 and Tier 2 Granary and Storehouse, and that's about it. Interestingly enough, the Tier 1 store is like 250 and then the Tier 2 store is like 2500 So it's a huge jump. It's a huge jump. Our divided pot semester? What? What? Where are they? You love my response to the wool problem? I don't even think I bought sheep yet in this game. I've had trouble buying livestock from the livestock trader. 
That's another thing that I'm not sure if I've just misunderstood how it's supposed to work or if it's just this save or what. I I'm not sure. We need to buy another arc. Wait. Wait. Okay, we got two. Locked in with the oxen. All right, let's start cutting down trees, brother. Yeah, exactly. The third person mode's there, so imagine if you were able to like ride a horse. Just even even if it were just um for cinematic purposes, imagine just riding your horse. Actually, we should start cutting down trees here. There we go. And now we wait. Now while we wait for this city to build, we can now... See, this is great. Now that... Usually this game's really slow, and we, we sit around not doing much in, in times one. But that's okay, because, like, we watch for problems, and since it's our first time playing, we might miss something. But now, now we can build on three cities at the same time. 24-hour Mandalord stream? Ah. I don't know. Oh, basically, you could sell, sell wool like crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of ways to... I, I I have no problem getting money at a certain point in this game. Actually, wait. Speaking of money, we did need to buy one thing here, now that we got the cash. We need to buy that trade line for boots. Okay, so 240 is what we need, 240. Not sure about how much the game will cost or whatnot, so definitely uh, check like Steam, GOG, or this game, you've already got this game if you have Game Pass. If you use Game Pass, this will be a day one game there. Where are we cutting down trees? All right, let's keep working on this city. So what do you guys need? Um, shortage of, looks to be food. Big shortage, okay, but it is spring. Uh, can we import stuff? Oh yeah, I think we're sending bread over. Oh, let's disband these guys now. What do we got going on for berries? They're grabbing berries. Do we have a granary here? Well, that would probably be a good idea to build a granary. Yep. Do that. I think I couldn't build one. I was going to build one before, but I couldn't because of stone. Hey, Raptor, is the game cool? I think it's a cool game, yeah. It's really fun. Can you build walls? Yeah, around your manors you can. Oh, also, I have an FAQ section down below in the description, too. So for those of you just finding out about the game or haven't had a chance to watch any of the content, I do have on YouTube in the description about 10 commonly asked questions. I did write down more, but forgive me, I haven't had uh, time to answer and write in the other ones yet. Uh, but I will do that. Once I write that out, I'll go back to all the other videos and try to answer more questions just in like a quick, you know, so that way you guys don't have to scroll through a video. You could just quickly check the description and see like, you know, a bunch of basic answers. Like, for example, when the price gets updated, I'll, I think I'll still tell people to refer to Steam, honestly, because it could always change because of a sale. Maybe this will have a day one discount that expires after a certain time. And um, I might have to go back multiple times and change like, a description. Oh, this is borked. Or is it? Um, Alright, we'll keep that house and delete it later. I don't have money to delete and rebuild. Okay, so Medvedi Mesto is okay. Building a lot of apple orchards. We've built some extendo farms. We've built some extendo houses. I guess we could do bur burgage plots for Betchy, maybe. Or maybe more apples. Now let's do apples, because... We spent so much money on unlocking that. Yeah, that's what we're doing here, too. Okay. Yeah, the orchards are cool. 
I hope there's more options for things like that in the future, like to actually build. I like the whole burgage plots for starting small and for, you know, allowing for a lot of farm area to be in home, like housing areas too, without having to dedicate people to it. We shall see. Okay, so we're building a granary there. Our food's getting better. Now that it's spring. We just gotta save up more. How are we doing on housing? 42, okay. A little bit of room. Yeah, this definitely looks amazing, yeah. What about... gonna be too small no it's not okay oh that's a big old plot right there This could be a transitional area from tier one to tier two. Oh, it's nice too that the tavern's near the King's Road. That's going to bring in some business. It won't really but you know do we have enough pack mules for all the districts um honestly i feel like anything uh being transported takes too long and is not efficient yet uh pack mules between cities and trade it feels a little like i have too much stuff and i make too much money from it without doing too much Literally, I could build like two Fletcher's workshops to make bows and sell those bows and get thousands of dollars and not even know how I did it. It is weird. Big weird. Yeah, I need to invent trains, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I need a train. Some of these areas are just too big. How many, um, we have two big old plots. Houses, man. But we need to get that population up. Uh, let's shrink the plots a little bit then. Summer's coming soon. Soon the sun. Like that. Also, the rotation option is such a game changer like that. Like, that's so nice to do that. Nice. Just 
trying to make it so the plots are not too crazy. There we go. What's the maximum plot size you can build? I'm pretty sure it's unlimited, honestly. <laughs> you can do whatever the hell you want. Well, this wouldn't make a large burgage plot, but this we, this we can cut into two, so we could have uh, four families farm that entire area. I think it, I can. I think you can even do bigger than that. I, I think it's unlimited. You can make a massive, yeah, a giant estate if you wanted to. Just keep in mind the size of that only matters if you're trying to build a burgage plot for something like a brewery or a Fletcher or a cobbler. Or if you're trying to do farming, the, the the size of that really matters to, you know, there's one to make it so it makes the little zone so you can add on to it. But, but the only thing where it matters to really build large homes is these, the vegetable farms. I don't think the orchards are affected by that. I don't think you can build a huge plot of land uh, that then is the uh, orchard. Like, I don't think it'll increase yield. I don't think. All right, looks like food keeps going up. Let's check on the new folks in Fritzburg. We also do need to do firewood here too, but I think the gran is the granary the next highest construction project. Let's make that the highest now. They need to store their food. We should be able to make it like a year. Size matters sometimes. Sometimes. Depends on what you're trying to do with it. Are you reporting bugs to the dev? Yes, as best as I can, but also I'm not trying to overwhelm them. I've submitted things to where they need to go, but I haven't pushed any issues. Nothing on my end is urgent. I'll figure it out. Greg's busy. Dude's making game of the year. Yo, K-Stan. 31 months as a hatchling. Love the streams. They're relaxing. Awesome. Seen some of your YouTube videos. They're pretty good. Just found uh, you here. Don't know why I hadn't followed sooner. Regardless, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks for following. Yeah, if you guys watch on YouTube, exclamation point Twitch, you can uh, follow over on Twitch. And uh, on Twitch, if you want to watch these streams afterward, they are available on YouTube. As well as some handy-dandy tutorials that will be coming uh, more frequently, I think, after release. There are a few out now, but I think they'll be better even after release. Thanks for the follows. Let's make this... Well, let's do one more plot here. Bring this in, move that there. I think we can make that a little smaller. Will these be a tier 2 or tier 1? Do something like that. I'm trying my best to just keep like a couple of trees here and there. Uh, Raptor, become mo a member, need money. Yeah, if you want to become a member or a Twitch sub, you do. It is a thing where you pay for that. Uh, but if you have Twitch Prime, or if you're like an Amazon, like if you, if you, Twitch has a, a free token basically that you can spend called Twitch Prime. So if you want to like support the channel, you can jump over there, spend your Twitch Prime sub, and then come back over to YouTube if you want to. Uh, you will get the emotes on Twitch if you do that. But on YouTube, yeah, you'll have to become a member, too. A lot of options, so click or tap the join button or hit exclamation point gift. and You never know. We got some fine folks who drop bombs all the time. It's literally like 
being in uh, Hell Divers too. Fritzburg stocks are getting soaked. Man, you can't, you really can't store stuff fast enough in this game. I told them to build a granary next, and they have, they still haven't done it. Oh, they're bringing over stones. Gonna get everybody on construction. They need to get that stuff done. Go back to Wentworth. I wish I didn't find out about this game until Wednesday, Thursday. The uh, lol, the hype. I've been on the hype train a long time. I, I'm 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 playing this game now and I'm hyped for it. Like I feel it feels really good to be playing. But there are other great games out there and I will be going back to those soon, like Lissara Summit Kingdom. There's some really great games out there that don't just because other games are hyped up and, and very special doesn't mean that uh they're they're not as good. They are good. Why I play them. They only fit two here, I feel like we could do better than that. Three? That's good. Okay, this town's gonna grow like crazy. It looks like the food problem is getting way better. And fuel is not a problem. So, clay and clay shingles. Yeah, a lot of these, uh, you know, unlimited money hacks and stuff, I don't think will be valid after launch. So, I, I don't want to do them and then, like... I don't know. Honestly, I, I have problems with having too much money no matter what I do. Even when I'm just selling, like, shoes just to make money. Like, this town has $34,000. This this town can buy a modern used car. <laughs> the whole town can go in on a, uh, like, a truck. <sighs> now, I'm not sure what happened yesterday with the glitch, but, um... I don't know. It it really it really hurt my mood that day. I didn't realize it. But I'm good now. Are the buildings that uh is there buildings they show but you can't build? Oh, um yes, kind of a little bit. Um I wonder how I can explain that. Well, there it when you build the the manor you can customize it a bit, but you can't upgrade it. And we know that there's some buildings that we can... There's a lot of future buildings and upgrades that are coming that just aren't in this build. A truck would speed up trade? Hell yeah, brother. We would load that up to the brim. Like, do you guys remember when we used to play um, Trader Life Sim? And we would get the... Um, the truck would just be fully loaded to the top with stuff. That's what we would do. Can you explain the fence system that's building on the roads? How did I fix that? Um, I don't know. There's, every once in a while, the game just kind of glitches and gets weird with fencing. But that's like one in every 500 homes. Actually, speaking of homes, we are supposed to upgrade that tier 3 house. That burned down. Is it this one? Oh. What the hell? Wait, that's a different house. Is it? I'm going to delete this house and rebuild it. I thought that was a different house. Does the house just keep disappearing? It's like a tier 3 lot. Maybe maybe I'm going to build a house there and keep it tier 2. There's a house that like keeps disappearing. I thought it was there. Or maybe it was up here? Oh, I think it was this house. Oh, it's happened twice now where there's like... Houses like disappear on the corner. There and there. 
Or maybe they burn down and they just don't rebuild them. I honestly don't know what's happening there. Now oh, there's going to be two people. Oh, relax. We're building homes. Can we upgrade any more tier threes? You can build walls around your manor, yeah. A lot of that's answered in our FAQ down below. Make sure you check that description. What's the best way to build a town? Is it better for everything to be placed together or spread out? I think eventually, even if you spread things out, they kind of come together. And that feels realistic in a way. Like this town, it's like clearly the church... And this upper area kind of are... There's like a road here kind of that separates all the plots of farmers and stuff like that. But um, honestly, things need to be together because you don't want like the granaries and all the farming stuff to be too far from the town. Everything's got to be transported by foot, basically. There are a few things that they'll use carts for, but that's still by foot. Mm-hmm. Flute st a song stuck in your head? Yeah. Can they, all the towns become connected under one manor? Um, no. Well, maybe that'll be a future feature where you can build like a main, like a main keep or something like that. And maybe you can make like a main castle, but... I guess the, the whole point of the game being at manor lords is I think to settle, take over territory, settle it a little bit, then build a manor to like defend your claim and then keep doing that. What are the winning conditions of the game? It depends on what game mode you're playing. Right now, our game mode is to take over all the... Ter We've been playing this for about a week now of taking over all these territories. We've got about half the map, and I think it's exponential to where I'm pretty close to being able to take over all these other spots pretty quick, pretty easily. Yeah, it takes, it takes quite some time to build, especially when you've got a very limited amount of people working on stuff. Like right now, I told everyone to go build the granary. And there's like five families working construction right now, which is good, because they've cut down a few trees, and now they're using these oxen to transport stuff. Although they should be doing the granary first. I have told them to make this the highest priority, and they're building the houses instead. It's like, hey people, before you build your... I know you all want shelter, but maybe before then, maybe secure the food so you can eat all year round. Like a house will give you a roof for today and tomorrow, but the food could... Yeah. Your first job was in a restaurant called the Manor House. Oh, you've you've worked in Manor Lords. Interesting. Can you go into battle as your playable character? Yeah, but you can't do anything in the battle. Like you can, you know, pretend to give your troops a speech or something beforehand and walk around and inspect them, but you can't like it's not like Mountain Blade. Actually, uh, you know what we didn't build often here is a well. Did we build wells here? Build a well there. We got one there. Wells are mostly for fire prevention. Or rather, putting out a fire, really. I'll build one there too. Perfect smack dab in the city. And we'll probably do the same here. Um... good they finished okay we need to assign like two people there to quickly store all the bread before it rains again we'll come back in a little bit and check that I love this I love when you can play times one in a game and have tons to do like now that we've got three different cities to manage they all kind of have their own problems and things going on 
It's like here we're working on rebuilding a home. We're building new homes in the other area. Here I'm waiting for supplies to be taken out of the out of the spot. Actually, I think is that done now? Yeah. Plot too small. Interesting, because there was a house built there before, pal. Yeah, be a great podcast. Hi guys, welcome to episode seven thousand of the Manor Lord podcast. The game is still cool. Thanks for listening. End of podcast. Yeah, this will be on Game Pass at the same time. What did we make our money? Oh yeah, now we can sell shoes. Export, we'll keep all but 10, maybe. Alright, cool. So we'll keep 10, and now we've basically completed that part. And we'll buy food if we need. I'll worry about that later. Do we have two horses? We do. I'll come back, I'll come back. I rocked that podcast, thank you. It was sponsored by uh, Square... It, it'll actually take longer to read off all the sponsors who sponsored the podcast than it would the actual podcast. Squarespace, NordVPN, uh, Raid Shadow Legends, uh, G Fuel, Casper Mattresses. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, each time you build a new manor, you get additional troops. You get plus 12 for the manor, and then you get plus 12 for building a garrison. So each region that you secure and build, like, Actually, building in a region and, and getting it up to the next level builds your military. Because it takes troops, you know, to fight in those militaries. So it makes sense that people need some place to live and to have fa a family. Right, this town's going to take a while. They're, they're building stuff now, though. Oh, yeah, they're building. Oh, it's coming together, baby. Here we go. This game's ridiculous. Have I noticed simulation lag? Uh, no, I haven't. Not yet. I really haven't had any major issues with this game except for something with the camera as of yesterday, but... Does the AI's army get stronger with each area you try to claim? I hope so. We kind of had our first official battle just the other day. Other than that, I was just kind of claiming neutral territory. Now we're starting to actually fight him. So we'll see if when we start taking more areas, if he gets stronger. We do need 2,000 influence to get there. So we'll just kind of keep, uh, keep on keeping on. If, uh, if raiders try to raid any of our cities, which I hope they do, and we kill them, then we get influence for it. And that will make it easier to go... You know, into other regions. Look at this. We're building a lot of houses, man. This city's going to be popping off. They're going to need a lot more food. We're going to have to start farming soon. So maybe I'll start telling the loggers. Cut down here. This is where we got a lot of fertility. I got to move that forest. That's got to go. Oh, this is full. Okay. We'll hold off on that. So you're saying you like it? This game? I do. I like this game. I mean, you know, honestly, I can look at a game and be like, oh yeah, I'd like that. And I usually do, but, you know, there's liking and then there's like, 
cap yeah, captivating. I don't know. There, there's some games that just... I play a lot of games. A lot of games. And this one's really pulled me in. Yeah, that's true. I don't really play on fast forward, so maybe there's not lag. I don't know. I just like being in this game. It's just... Um, I think this is like what happens when dudes get stun locked by like train layouts and stuff. Like where... I don't know if any of you guys have done, like, model railways or whatever. One's in the chat if you've ever done that, but, like, ever since I was little, even if it was just, like, laying out the track on plywood, it's just fascinating to, like... That's kind of what this is, too, by the way, when you're when you're laying out the roads. You know, it, it gives you that same feeling. I don't know why. But, you know, if you build a model railway, I mean, even, like, nowadays, you can do it all on the, on the computer... Do all the layout, then go buy all the stuff, then put all that stuff together, and then tweak, like cut, customize, tweak, add weathering to things. It's crazy. Remember when you go to Japan? Yeah, I'll be going on uh, May first. I actually might leave a day early. Maybe I'll leave in April. I there's some things that there's some stuff going on. There's some talks. I haven't finalized some things yet, but we shall see. There's room to maneuver. Also, some people were asking me about... Um, you guys were asking me about, like, if there's any, like, Aztec or Mayan city builders, and I'd only pointed out, like, one called, like, I don't know, Road to... There's like two of them. There's like one called like El Dorado and another one called like I I forget. We covered we covered them both. But uh Somebody just messaged me about one called Plat Okay, let, let's see what this one is. Hold on. We might have a new, new city builder. Let's see how it looks. Take it a field trip everybody while we wait for these houses to build. Let's fire up the bus and let's get over there. Um, let's see what this one is. Oh, they actually have a free prologue. Now, they said this game is like, um, it's called Tlat O'Ani. Um, a mix of Pharaoh and Banished, which is cool. Pharaoh is from the, uh, you know, like the Sierra City Builders, and Banished is cool. Oh, yeah, I'd like this. Yep. <laughs> this reminds me of like, um, uh rise of the middle kingdom this this is old school as hell this this is all about like this is like what anno is like nowadays with the whole mid maxing and like making sure things are a certain distance from a market or whatnot although this still looks egyptian but obviously aztec let's watch a little quick trailer it's a prologue too by the way so oh, april 29th Ooh, i'd give a I'll, I'll make a video on that let's take a quick peek I love this stuff. When I played Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, it was a Sierra game, just like Pharaoh and Caesar and all that. Oh, yeah, that stuff to me is beautiful. Like a man. Okay, so here's the next step we need to take in gaming. If we can get a game that looks like Manor Lords, but then eventually we could start making canals and bridges and stuff like that, and start bringing our cities up to like more modern, you know, Renaissance, like uh, bricks and things like that. And re if we can go from Middle Ages to like uh, Industrial Revolution, oh my god, I, I cry. I'll cry and die. That's pretty art, man. That's cool. That's definitely one I'd take a look at. That's not going to be for everybody, but that's for me, and I like it. That one's got me locked in. Build, trade, and stuff. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, Caesar and Pharaoh, for sure. Your traits... You think you could survive in this time period? Yeah, I, man. It, it, everything was done by manual labor. You'd have to eat so many calories just to stay alive. Okay, this town's looking good. They just need to build their houses. This town's good, but we need to rebuild that house. And I'm still waiting for them to take these supplies out of here. 
Oh, here they come. It looked like she picked something up. There's nothing there, though. I don't know. There's some. There's something blocking that house. It sucks. I want to build a house there. Can I build a house here? That's too small. What the hell stopping me from building there? Yeah, the supplies are blocking the house, yeah. Well, there's no supplies there. It's just like a like there's just a pot, like dirt. There's dirt there now. Wait, is there already a plot here? Oh, there is. Oh, this is supposed to be a marketplace. Oh. There was already a marketplace there. But there's nothing there. Alright, well. Let's build another house then. Plot's still too small. Oh, not anymore. Cool. Now, where did that other house go? Uh, where's that street corner? Oh, there. Oh, good, they cleared it. Alright, cool. All right, cool. Two new houses being built. Excellent. Now, um, back to this city. Just a lot of house building again. Big approval rating. Money coming in. Five free families. We're going to leave them for construction since we're doing a big old building boom. I really want to vote for Raptor to play this game 24-7. Can't risk switching it off. That's true. Well, I mean, you know, I, I've never done a 24-hour stream before. We could do it for this game, but honestly... I think I'd be beyond exhausted, and it wouldn't be as entertaining. At a certain point, I think I'd just be sitting here playing, but not really talking to you guys. It would kind of just be me sitting back and trying to stay awake while you guys are asking <laughs> questions and I don't say anything. Lasara's out. Do you recommend it? Yeah, I want to go play more Lasara's Summit Kingdom, honestly. That game was cool. I played that game once and got my ass beat by uh, avalanches, and I'm I play these games a lot, so I Lasara Summit Kingdom was really cool. I, I really want to play that more. I've not been doing that game justice. It deserves way more coverage from me. We'll be playing it again. Is there a trade between the districts? Yeah, you could do that. You can build a uh, pack mule station, and um, it's a little annoying though because like. If you send stuff to a city, you also have to bring stuff back. There has to be a give and take. So, if you're giving to a newly built city, the pack mules have to take something back. And when a city's just getting started, it really doesn't have a lot of extra stuff to give back. So the thing I usually do is firewood, but that's a little risky, especially in the first year, because, you know, your people don't have a lot of stuff, and you don't want to really give away firewood, uh, you know, for the, for the winter that's coming. Also, people use firewood year-round, so it's like they'll use firewood all year, and then it doubles winter, which I think is December through March. Uh, oh, December through February, it says, but yeah. How's the game so far? Great, and it seems to get better the more I play. You know, now that I'm uh, managing three different cities, I think it's much more exciting for the city management aspect, but also... We might end up getting more um, influence, so I should be able to take the map. According to Steam, though, I got a Steam achievement. It said that I defeated this guy already. But 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see when I claim another territory. If he sends out troops, then we know he's still in the game. On one hand, I got a Steam achievement for defeating him, but I don't know if that means in bat like in our first battle or if he's been like defeated defeated like did i win the battle or did i win the war i know i won the battle but i don't think i won the war i got to take all the territory oh look at the house is coming in oh dude these look great man i tried to keep that tree there and i'm glad i did dude oh look at this look at this you got me hyped for the game, bro. How could how could I have done that? Look look at this. This is just amazing. This is what we want a game to look like when we're building. Like uh, this is what Transport Fever like three needs to look like. We need more. Games have gotten better about putting like more detail in the grass and stuff. Like when there's just random bushes and stuff like this, it shouldn't look like an open blank field. It needs to look like this. This is ridiculous. Like this is. I could I could almost get away with lying to people and being like, "Hey guys, look at, welcome to our first look of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2." Like honestly, like if I zoom if people didn't really know so much about Manor Lords and I was like, "Yep, this is uh this is Kingdom Come 2." Like that would pass for Kingdom Come 2. Not that I would do that. I'm just saying it's like <laughs> this game looks like another game. It's like welcome to a mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's called the Manor Lords mod. Did they put all the food in storage yet? I hired two people. Where's where's all the goods? Here? No. Oh, here. Come on, bro. Come get that bread. I gotta put everybody on the granary. I don't want any of that food to get destroyed. Splendid work on the roof, good sirs. I'm putting four people on that. Until that food is stored. That's top priority. Number one. Oh, and we're still building those houses, I can see. Can't wait to play this? Good. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. I'll be definitely playing this on release day and maybe that Saturday too and then we'll, I should I should make room for other stuff I'd probably play some more Frostpunk if the beta was kind of more I don't know I don't like the fact that that, that bit quote unquote beta is uh oh here we go hell yeah alright we're still in the war oh that's just brigands well whatever we get influence let's go alright cool we got a fight boys military action locked in enemy forces are inbound and it's time for the Guardians of Wentworth to go clap some cheeks. Looks like they're heading straight to us, so... I think we'll just head down to the river. No need to run, boys. No need to run. Take it easy. Let's head down to town. Ooh, three groups of 18. That's going to be four. That's probably going to be a... 60 man, no, 80 man attack. Almost, may, could be 100. Alright. Let's get the troops ready. Let's go. Oh, they're very close. Um, okay. Troops are heading out. Uh, Lukester, thank you very much for the 25 months as a bear cup. Thanks for sharing this beautiful game with us, brother. Enjoying, uh, enjoy and have a great day. You too. I hope you're enjoying the stream and uh, you have a great weekend as well. I, I have Frostpunk 2 change their building and it's worse than Frostpunk 1. Um, I don't think it's worse. I think it's different. And I think the intention of Frostpunk 2 is to be more like a uh, kind of a Civ game in a way where we're conquering large areas of land. And that makes sense because after a giant snowstorm like that that's wiped out the earth, there's going to be huge areas of nothing. So you could still build a city, but you're not building like a city in a little pit anymore. It's like you're building a city in like a whole river valley. Um, and it's more political and more about appeasing everybody and working with different political factions. I really, I kind of really like what they've done there. Um, I still need to play it more and... Uh, you know, get the feel for it, but I, I, I like what I see so far, because honestly, I don't think they could have 
They can't make a better Frostpunk 1. They can only make a different Frostpunk 2. You know what I mean? There's no way that they could make... It's very rare that we get a better Part 2 than we do Part 1. Like, I guess a good example of this is, like, Terminator. Like, Terminator 1, great movie. Terminator 2, like, that's the one they show on TV all the time, even though it's not the first one. Or at least they had over the years, you know? But still, it's good. So, but I think in this case, 1 is, um, I think, more preferred for a long time. And to be fair, 1 has had time to really uh, develop its story with all of the other... You know, it's not like they made they made other game modes for fun, like sandbox mode and stuff for people who wanted to just go and build stuff. But each time that they added a new DLC that was like a, a story-based thing, that game is very much storytelling and making difficult decisions. Like literally, you just day one, you just start with child labor if you want. Just turn on turn on the old, hey, are we putting the kids to work or no? You know that kind of thing. But the second one expands upon that. A lot. That's a hard. That's a hard game to top, dude. Like I don't know how 11 bits gonna do that. Okay, so the enemy is attacking. We do have an attack incoming. Enemy troops are on the way. We've got a group of about uh, uh, close to 100 dudes coming on in. And I'm just gonna try to fight them with our. Actually, wait. Why don't I call in some mercenaries too? Do we have that? They'll arrive in Wentworth. All right, sure. Should have called them in a while ago, but whatever. Where are they at? There they are. I think they're going to arrive too late. But, actually, once, once we defeat these guys, we'll have probably over 2,000 influence, so we can go and take another territory. Yeah, this build of the game has exploits, but those will be ironed out, I think, by release. I think the developer, I think, was already intending to make a different trading system. It, it is broken. I'm making too much money on just trying to trade realistically. Like, I'm trading just shoes and arrow uh, bows, and it's just too much. I don't think that's going to be fun. For me, anyway, to do exploits. I want to earn it. That's why I ended up with a city like this. Oh, good. And the homes are being built, too. Good. Wait, are there five squads? Four. Four squads. Okay. What's up, chat? Welcome. I think we're going to try to get these guys to fight us on this hill again. Damn, I should have built the fort over here. So the raids become bigger. Um, it seems like the first raid in the game is just 20 people. And then after that, I think it increases to three squads and then four. So, But these are uh, just bandits. So I don't know what to make of that. Also, I think we're not going to be able to hold these guys off. We have to kind of figure out where they're going. Hold on. We need to change our plan here. Need to have this army coming over here. Just need these guys to get into town. There, perfect. Bodies on the other side of the river. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not too worried about bearing. I don't know. Like, we could fight... Where are they going now? Oh, they seem to be coming straight to our army. Well, good. Come over here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll wait for them. We're going to absolutely clap cheeks, though. No doubt that our 48 troops can d defeat 100. Almost outnumbered 2 to 1. <laughs> Ponte's Pizza always delivers. That game is great, man. Killer Frequency on the channel. If you're looking for, like, a funny horror game... After this stream, you guys, you know, if you if you got some extra time, go check our playthrough of a game called Killer Frequency. It's a game where you're like a radio show host. It's like a radio station simulator, but it's funny. Like it'll be like, oh my god, my sister was just murdered. Like you, like you can just hit the sound effect buttons and just goof around. It's hilarious. Maybe they're attacking the manor. I thought they were going to come into the town, but I think they're aggroed onto our, uh, more enemy units? Where? Is there more? No. Anyway, since the enemy comes in mostly from the edge of the map, it also might be wise to build your manors on the edge. Or at least facing out, well, I don't know, maybe the mid, I don't know. Yeah, I would lure them to the manor, but I can't figure out how to get the manor to, like, fire back. Like, there should be a way to put people into those towers and shoot, but I can't... I've put archers in there before, and I can't get them in the towers. I'm not sure what I need to do. Good morning, Raptor and chat. Good morning. Look at all these people casually just walking by. Um. Well, these troops might not be late. They might be right in time. Oh, I want them here regardless. Because I'm going to follow up and take this other guy's territory. We're, we're taking the map today, I think. We're going to conquer all the map today, I think. How are we doing with building? Under construction. Give you guys veggies. Nice. Look at that field, dude. It's like the farm fields we build in, like, uh, Valheim. I want to start growing carrots right away. Get more food over here. We'll be locked into the battle shortly. It's so funny, like, while we're waiting for the battle to start, if you play on a slow enough speed, you can go and do some management duties while you wait. Be like, okay, enemy troops will be here in five minutes. Gives me plenty of time to make sure we start a market, build a market over here. Speaking of markets, where would we build one here? Maybe next to this well. Now we'll have to build the first one at the church. Are you guys working or no? I hear hammering. Are they building the fence? Oh. Yeah, here we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, those farms are outstanding. Okay, now the battle can begin. Eh, our troops will be a little late. It's okay. All right, let's save. Um, who loved the Kingdom Come Two trailer? I did. We, I even made another video on it. I've never played that game before, and I'm a fan because it looks so well done, and I hear good things about them in the first game. How hard they worked on some things, even though there's, you know, it's not perfect or whatnot. But I really respect that. That is the thing I'm a big fan of in this industry now is people, you know, maybe they don't have a lot of time or resources, but they try to make the best they can and they go well beyond expectations. And that, that is good. I'm a fan of that. Look at our people running away. You guys are fine. Here we go. Oh, let's also... Yeah, let's do a balance.
Actually, I wonder if we can get our archers to... Nah, it'll be too late. And since their squads are coming in one at a time... Can an American tell me how popular Popeyes is? I had it for the first time, kind of mid. Um, maybe it depends on what you had or whatnot. It's um, in Minnesota. We're, it's mostly a southern thing in the United States, but I hear the restaurants in the north are very good and people really like them uh, because they're less plentiful. So thus, I think quality is better. Uh, interestingly enough, when I was in the Czech Republic, I saw a uh, KFC across the street from a uh, uh, from a uh, a Popeyes as well. But I think it's the type of thing where people will be like, dude, what do you like more? KFC or Popeyes? And then someone will be like, I like Canes better. Something like that. Oh, these guys are splitting off. I don't know. I guess instead of fighting our main army, they decided to fight that army. Oh, these guys are already dead. Wow, that took seconds. Bro. Our elite troop. I could... Bro, I zoomed out for a second and they just clobbered those dudes. They're all dead. No way. Wow. That... Our army kicks ass. I didn't even see the battle. I went over here to give an order and it was over. What the hell are they doing? Get in there and kill them. Everybody's just getting into position. Wow, the war's already over, boys. We won. But a lot of stuff might be like what you order too. I, I don't know. Like, I don't really think uh, chicken on the bone is really great anymore from fast food places. No way. It's all about the sandwiches. There was a time, I think, where it was better. But then again, Japan has KFC too. and Maybe I'll do Japan KFC, although I'd rather go to Coco Curry, honestly. Can your rivals eventually attack as well? Uh, yes. Well, I haven't had the enemy claim a territory of mine and then try to invade it. It's mostly been bandits and raiders trying to just raid. Not necessarily take territory, but like, rob me. Okay, well now we got 3,000 uh, influence. Let's see if we can fight another battle. And if we're going to do that, can we buy more troops? We cannot. Okay. Um, call this map one. Yeah, I think there'll be maps where there's more than one lord in the future. I, I think that'll be the, um, be the right step. Okay, let's go ahead and cut his territories in half. We're going to invade this one. Let's take Goldhoff. And then if this dude wants to fight me for it, we'll be ready. I'm just going to move into the area. Yeah, Coco Curry is amazing. Um, damn, there's there's another place too. It's kind of... Um, I always forget the name of it, damn it. There's a dish and a restaurant. And I forget both their names. And not helpful in any way, but... Um, I'll have to look it up again. But it's one of those 24-hour, very simple, like you get a plastic tray and like... Uh, plastic bowl or some, or maybe it's ceramic, but it's incredible. And you, you have like pork, rice, onion. Alright, the guy's still in the fight, actually. Oh, he's coming to... Alright, cool, we're fighting. Where's the battle? Here? Oh, good. That's where I was going to be anyway. And 
If he's gonna come and fight me, I'll have the high ground. Come at me, bro. You were in Japan a week ago? Hell yeah, brother. Dude, dude wants to trade me 398 gold. 89. No. No, it's a place that starts with an S. I, I keep thinking it's Shibuya, but that obviously isn't it. That's a district in Tokyo. Yeah, I played War Tales. War Tales is really fun. Uh... I don't know. Chat always reminds me every couple months. I'm like, yeah, what's the name of that place? What's the name of that food? Chat usually figures it out. Popeye's biscuits got to be fresh or they're very dry. Yeah. Yeah, more diplomacy would be a good thing in this game for sure. But, you know, more things in time. All right, he is bringing... Basically, the biggest threat here is these 36. I'm going to get our troops into position, then we'll maneuver. And I can't hire any more nobodies. Respond to correspondence. I did. I told the guy no. Actually, I didn't. I, 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 didn't. <laughs> I was like, I'm not answering this email. Maybe these guys want more food. Well, we did build another granary. Oh, I didn't uh, put people into work here. It wasn't built. There we go. So that'll get more people working at the uh, at the market. That'll make them happier. Well, militia's kind of like a last line of defense, really. I'm going to try to shoot at them from an angle. Where's he coming at? I think he'll change his direction. Gonna make a long line of troops, see if we can get him aggroed up that way. Actually, these guys can run too. Archers are very light, so they can run everywhere. What's a 10 out of 10 American fast food place that the UK doesn't have? Um, well, I would have said five guys, but I saw one in Belgium when I was there recently, so it could be in the UK too. Um, I think a lot of people really like that. In and out, maybe? In and out burger? I've not had that, though. I wish we would get a Max in the United States, though, from Sweden. Battle for Goldhoff. I think these battles will be a lot more interesting too when we get more um, troop types as well. Crossbows, cavalry. Maybe things we can build on the field. Subway, yeah, Subway's like everywhere. I, I'm convinced now that Subways actually have a Subway within them. Like you can go to the, like a Subway within the Subway. You just open a door and it's just another Subway. Interestingly enough too, our King's Favor dropped to negative two, so that's, that's got to be a glitch. I don't, I don't think that's active. 
Or maybe we owe him favors or something. I don't know. The battle begins. And he's running. <laughs> Where is he going? I'm not leaving the high ground, bro. You come over to me. I'm on the high ground on the other side of a river. Look, I read uh, The Art of War. I know what Sun Tzu said. Especially on a date like today, he who stands on toilet is high on pot. River battle. That looks cool. Uh, the troops that have stars over them are our elite retinue. So they're like soldiers that you can really uh, train up high. Like you have militia, which is basically people in the village who have weapons. And then you've got mercenaries that you can hire that are only temporary as long as you pay them. But then there's like the steadfast, loyal troops that you can upgrade, give extra armor to. Um, and eventually we'll be able to do a lot of training and stuff. This guy's more than welcome to come over here and fight me. This is an interesting part of the game too. I, I, I kind of like this. I didn't know this, but when you fight for a region, it also picks a, I think, randomized area for the battle. So that's cool, because, like, one, a region will kind of have its own, you know, traits to it in terms of landscape. But then also it'll pick an area within that area. And I don't think we could have gotten a better area to, to, to pick. No cavalry at the moment. Who's the invader? Uh, it's this other guy named... Wait, why are there bodies? Oh, from the other battle. I need to hire... Somebody real quick. We got a guy working there. We'll uh, turn that up in a little bit. Anyway, the, the whole story of the game or the, the main story or whatnot is just basically you are a lord and the king sends you to the lands of the north where an illegitimate baron has basically claimed territories up there and you need to go up there and basically... T uh, clap this guy. Tell him, no, you don't. You got to take him out. I'm really hoping for, like, a final battle where the guy will have, like, a defended castle and you really got to... Like, basically, like, the end of Stronghold. You got to bring, like, a ton of trebuchets or catapults or something and really have one final giant battle at a, at a castle and siege it, which would be very interesting. Different ways that you could do it. Guys are so dead. He is so dead. I don't know how the the favor works. I I I don't know anything about it. The game hasn't given any tips on that. Actually, what? We can give a little check of that. I don't know. Let's see. Uh. resources? I guess it'd be a currency we could spend. I don't know. Does anybody see King's Favor? There's regional wealth. Influence. Treasury, region. This seems like where it would be. Traveling merchants, trade points. I think it's just a placeholder for now. There's some mathematics going on in the background, but it's like turned off. I really don't think there's anything. I mean, like, look, some of these are literally called image ID request. Like this game, you know, it's being made by one dude. So there's a lot of gaps and things. But I don't know if that's something we could actually use. It would be cool, though, if we could like 
you know, do something with it. Ar okay, archers are engaging archers. Come at me, bro. Why are you on Twitch? I'm on Twitch and YouTube. It's cool to stream on both. Got lots of people watching on, on both, and it's nice to be here. So welcome, everybody. Yeah, exclamation point Twitch if you want to follow over on Twitch. Drop a Twitch Prime sub or whatever. Whatever. Okay, they're com they're coming in. Idiots! They're gonna have to cross the river. Okay, let's have the archers run to the other side. They're gonna have to enter melee, I think. Lock there. Attack his archers. They're running. Our archers can run too, though. Oh, the, uh, oh, clever. The, that was good AI right there. The AI went around the woods to be behind our archers, which was cool. But I don't know why our spearmen are not going down the hill, so let's we'll go the other way. We'll get them to reinforce. Hey, thanks for all the follows, folks. Thanks for following the channel over on Twitch. This guy has a 1% combat effectiveness. Our troops are all damn near 100. Look at that. It's bouncing between like, well, 50 and 100. I, get, I don't know what's changing that, but regardless, it's not one like this dude. Oh, one of our Raptorians has fallen in battle. Oh, no. Well, it's war. Play defensively now. An absolute hero. He'll be the first one buried at the church. And he'll be buried on our lands. I don't know who it was, but we lost one of you. It does mean there is a position open, though, if you'd like to uh, sacrifice your life for your lord. Positions are now open. We'll talk about it in a minute. We'll talk, we'll talk. They're fleeing. <laughs> oh, even his retinue is bailing. I thought. Yep. And where is the... Okay, there's archers there. Damn, our, our mercenary archers almost got cleared it all the way out, but... We lost one hero. I don't know who it was, but... Wow. Hi, Raptor. Didn't know you were here. Hi, I'm here. Hello, welcome. If he leaves, we won the battle, so... Can we chase them down? Chase them down, boys. These are just mercenaries, so I don't really care. And now we've split his territory. Or we run him out of the circle and then we win. We don't have to kill them, we just get them out of here.
That was an amazing battle. That was so cool. Also, I think us being on the hill did give us an advantage. Corpses near gives a negative 20. It's a battlefield. Oh, recent losses. Corpses near. Okay. We lost one night of Raptoria. We'll have to get one more. I think we won the battle. Yeah, run run him right out of town. Will he uh, lose this territory? No, we'll have to keep uh, capture each one of these individually, but uh, still pretty cool that we split them. I think it actually kind of is a smart w uh, thing to do that, though, because... If he calls in more, he was, when he was attacking this town here of Wentworth, he was calling them in from like up here. And I think maybe these trade points are also a place where militaries can spawn. So if he attacks again, it's going to be from down here in this corner. And that feels like it's further away than here. Maybe it's the same distance, but. Honestly, if we, if we have to defend the town again, we'll defend it like on the riverbank where we again have an advantage. We got a lot of bodies to bury. Uh, let's see. And we need to bury our Raptorian, too. Our knight. He'll be buried here. Right, he's running. I think we've won. Oh, wait a minute. Not over yet. Oh, these guys are wiped out. It's over. Give it your all. You have to take the dead soldier home, or will he go to the church automatically? Yeah, the, uh, the soldier who died in battle in our territory, I think, will be buried at the nearest church. And that goes the same for our civilians, too. And then as for the, uh... Yeah! Hell yeah! So as for the enemies who are, uh, dead, uh, they just get tossed into a, uh, into a pit. As well as our mercenaries, too, which is awesome. Great. Alright, let's disband these units. Alright, a salute in the chat for our one fallen, uh, member... Uh, unless they somehow come back to life, maybe the, maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's wrong. I've seen it happen before where it doesn't list all the troops and then suddenly it does. Anyway, back home. Give them a salute. Well, that was awesome. That's gonna happen more frequently now too. Once we hit another two K influence, we're gonna we're gonna take another territory. And uh, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of people to pick up some bodies. Luckily, the bodies are dead by the river going down river. That's not our problem. Regional wealth going up. All right, let's check out the new town. Fritzburg. Build some new houses right away. Did we get all the food in storage? They didn't get any food in storage? Why? There's food right here. Here, I'm gonna do this. Come and get that food there, please. That food needs to be picked up right away. get those armies home and then by the way we'll get uh, hopefully we'll get one more army before like the final battle maybe we could just do it with our retinue yes re rest in pepperonis if we defeat the opponent and they have a town do we capture the town or is it destroyed that's something that i guess is tbd 
Um, the enemy does not make towns on the map at the moment, but it is uh, a feature that is listed to be coming. So right now we just claim a territory and fight the enemy in the battlefield, but soon we'll be able to fight four towns, and that'll be interesting if we're supposed to fight in a town. But interestingly enough, too, you can also, when you start the battle like that, you can negotiate for the battlefield to be in a different spot. So, like, if the game says, oh, we're going to fight here in this forest, and you're like, no, that's dumb. <laughs> like, I have a ton of archers. I don't want to fight there. Then I think you can somehow negotiate through King's Favor, Influence, and Money to, like, fight here or something like that. Yep, post-battle victory music. Very good. Oh, now we have 38,000. In that time, this town has gained 4,000 more bucks. This town now finally has over 1,000. Things are going well, everybody. Things are going real well. Where's the graveyard, the body pit? Well, the graveyard is automatically at the church, any church that you build in a region. So they'll bury our hero there. And then uh, the, um, the pit is here. People will be working on that soon. Hmm. We still have a hundred gold here. Another oxen would be good. Do we have three? We do. Three hitching posts. I'm gonna buy another one. And then we can have one assigned to make planks and get a church down ASAP. But we gotta get the upgraded housing done. We're trying to build extra homes. We got housing for seven. We're building a few more. <laughs> Pit looks scary, yeah. Looks like a holiday inn. Do all the territories link together or do you have to build new city in each area? Uh, both. I mean, you can link them together via trade. You can also literally build a road between two territories that you own. But you can't do that if you don't own the territory. You see? Uh, I think building a b town on the border is tricky, though, because you could probably have a city cross over to the other side, but then they'll use different, um, like, regional wealth. But what we could do is, like, this town here, we could build this town here up to the river, then build another town kind of up to the river, and then we could just say it's the same town. But you're not really managing towns, you're managing regions. So you could build, like, you know, small little city, little little towns here and there. You know, like, you could build a bunch of houses over here if you wanted to, but... People can pretty much walk in it. A region size is pretty manageable for a person to walk and get to their job pretty quickly. And if you keep in mind that we're not assigning people, but we're assigning a whole family to do a job, you know, once somebody's um, son or brother or whatnot is done with work for the day, they, they head on in to do their job. So they all kind of take turns. And or, like, for example, with the, um, you know, with the hunting post, we can actually have the hunter... You know, so someone, one family can go and hunt, and another family can take care of selling all that at the market. So they can take care of, tra you know, transporting all that meat to the market, selling it, taking the money, all that stuff. Bum, 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 bum. And we're building lots of homes here. Although we're down to just one free person because we got a little bit of work going on with the whole burial thing. Fritzburg. Where are these people at? Plowing by hand. We all know that this dude's not even carrying anything. Gets raining like this in the I got a, I got a granary family guiding an ox. What are you doing, bro? You're supposed to be picking up bread.
can't get anybody in that granary to go pick up red and put it in there. Maybe it's better to just build a pack station. All right, I'm going to take the people up. I'm going to put one guy in there. We're going to put two in hunting and one on hunting. Or uh, the other way around. Two on hunting and one on forging. I mean, and then one on construction. That's annoying. Uh Bugged bread. I hope there's not bugs in that bread. Although it would add protein. Hmm. Alright, let's disband. Uh, one did die. Okay, we have a new fighter. We'll get him customized uh, later on for the next battle. Bugs baked in like spice. Wow. Who doesn't love spice? Town's gonna take a while. Respond to the letter. I got nothing. Maybe it'll disappear. Wow, 70 bodies need to be buried. Whew. Be a lot of work. I'm gonna assign, I'm gonna assign two people from that. We gotta get that corpse pit going. In the future, I think it'll spread disease quickly if you don't take care of it, so. Okay, more battles to come. I think we need to get invaded again by more bandits, and then we can easily... Every time we get hit by bandits, we'll counterattack with a uh, territory. And I think... I, I feel like we should be able to smack talk these guys. Like, here's the bandits here. Outlaws. So, I don't know, I, f I feel like there should be a way to more effectively intimidate them, have them attack, kill them, use that influence for luring them out to then take another region. Yeah, we're down to uh, well, about almost six days now. Six days remain. I'll keep that countdown timer up there every day until then. And I think I'll play this on f that Friday, the 26th, and then the 27th. And then <laughs> I need a little palate cleanser after all this time and give you guys time to play too. And let everybody enjoy. Uh, fuel is low, yes. Um, no, it's food here at this place. But um, we got people hunting and gathering. Spring and summer, food can be really limited. But uh, I think we're importing food here, too. Yeah, we're importing bread. So it's just being delivered. Was that Stonehenge? Ooh, it would be cool if we could build monument stuff. But 
Kenshi? Kenshi would be cool. Maybe we'll play that in the future. Alright, let's check the main town. Is this the save where we had glitches? Yeah. Yesterday I was having a problem with the camera and it was unplayable, but uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what happened. Earlier today I even reloaded into it and it just magically fixed itself. I don't know. Did you pop in at a bad time? That's a good time. We're having, we're having mandatory fun here. Locked in. So we have two more territories that we can build in. I'm not going to build in any new territories until release day. I think for the next few days we're going to we're going to fill out the three territories that we have. And okay, maybe we'll build in one more, but I don't want to do I want to start a new town on release day cuz everybody's going to want to know how to build a new town and we're going to do that. Cuz that will be more important uh, more informational. More informative. That's here. That that's it. Yeah. Yeah. My first run through Kenshi was the most fun. Still have it saved. Interesting. Interesting. Is this the same version they'll be releasing on Friday? No, I think uh, on Friday it'll be even better. I think uh, because we've had two weeks as content creators to find bugs and report things, and the developers had time to improve things. I think it'll be better. I don't know how, but. There'll be like a release version. Love that we left that tree alone. I love it. Mods, yeah. I'm excited for mods too. Transporting. This guy seems to only be picking up... They ignored the bread that we got. They're only picking up the fresh meat from the hunter, which is great, but... And this guy says he's transporting too, but... Maybe he'll come and pick up the bread? You know, my hope for the future is that for the supplies, maybe they'll just kind of make it so the supplies can be in the tent area, rather than them just going bad. It does certainly make an urgency to, like get that stuff stored ASAP, but yeah. If we could just have it under a little lean-to, maybe it'd be, or just the AI, a little snappier storing that stuff, because I, I built the granary first, knowing that that would be a problem, and then everybody was kind of like, food? No, we hate that. Yeah, I've reported some b bugs, but not to Greg. There was a, a little thing I got to list some stuff. Mostly, I've also been just taking videos and saying like, I don't, I don't know how to explain this bug. I don't know what to call this. Like the video thing, I, I, I couldn't have really written up what that was. I, so I just linked the the stream, like the timestamp where it happened. More importantly, I think uh, handing over a save file is probably a good idea. Yeah, well, uh, this game, you know, if you have a uh, Game Pass, the price is basically free. You've already, it'll be included with that, so you already got that locked in. That'll be cool. Oh my god, this town here is going to be beautiful. We're going to have a whole town up here in this corner. This is gonna be amazing. I can already see it now. Yeah, red is our territory, yeah. 
Some people were asking, you know, they would like to change the color in the future, and yeah, I'm all, I'm all for that. I think this is red, maybe, because this could be the kingdom's colors. Like, the, the king has asked us to come here, so we're claiming these territories in the name of the king. Not necessarily us. Yeah, Game pa Pass uh, PC. But this game will come to console. The, the, the developer did say Xbox, but after 1.0. And 1.0, guys, could be 2, 5, 10 years from now. We, we don't know. Probably not that long, but I hope. I hope long. I hope this guy just kind of never... I hope the 1.0 is when he's like, you know, yeah, I want to move on to a new project now. I put like 10, 10 years of work into this or whatever. I'd like to do something different now. It's like, fair. That's fair. <laughs> like 10 years of a guy working on this and wanting to switch gears. I mean, what more could you ask? And I hope he does another city builder and it's even better than this one. That'd be great. It's like what happened with Kojima and Metal Gear, you know? Then he went on to like Death Stranding and stuff and that that's a freaking weird game. And it's great. It'd be cool after you claim all the territory for the king that you start an uprising to take over the kingdom. Wow. You're thinking ambition. That that would be like that would have to be a grand strategy game then. You want the saloon lords to be based in the old west? Yeah, Wild West City Builder. Like there there have been ones before, but they never I don't know, they never really pan out. this full release? No, release day of the early access is with the timer in the upper right corner. Six days everybody gets to play early access. You will right. find finer ways anywhere else. Never. Out of the season's work, how long is each? Does it have a night cycle? Yes, there's a cosmetic day-night cycle that you can turn off, turn on and off if you'd like to. Uh, the seasons work where each three months is a different season. So in the spring, March, April, and May, it will rain a lot, which could damage any unprotected uh, supplies that you have. And also, it replenishes a lot of the uh, fruits and berries and things like that out there, so it helps for foraging. The summer months of uh, June, July, and August are really good for warfare because with all the plants, uh, the crops planted, if you get attacked and people die, um, or if you send them out to attack, like the, the farms kind of are, will take care of themselves until harvest season. And then harvest season, of course, is September, October, November, and temperatures will drop a little bit and you have to start harvesting your crops. And then uh, once that's done, then you have December and well, it says, yeah, December, January, and February are winter. So in winter, that's the most interesting one. Um, seasonal resources are gone, so you can't pick berries anymore. Or mushrooms or whatever. Um, firewood consumption gets doubled, and people might freeze and die to death if you don't have fuel for them. Or also charcoal. And then uh, sheep shearing is forbidden. So if you have sheep, you can't. you have to keep them warm through the winter so you won't be able to produce wool in the winter. So clothing production might suffer. So if you're making linen, you can only harvest that, you know, like once a year. So you get a huge influx of flax, and then that has to be made into linen and then woven into clothing if you want to do that. Or you can just sell the linen. Wool you can't process in the winter, and then leather you can pretty much do year-round. Leather you can do year-round because if you have goat plots... On your burgage plots, they'll produce hides. And then also if you're hunting, which can be year-round, you can make leather year-round. So you can actually make shoes year-round. In fact, leather and shoes count as clothing. So that takes care of the clothing needs. But yeah. Yeah, we're on yesterday's save, yeah. We're continuing from yesterday midday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can see a cool dune mod for this, really. I mean, that'd be cool. I'd love to see somebody try. Did we get any food in storage yet? Okay, we're getting food. 
Yeah, they didn't even store any of the bread. Look at that. They got meat and berries, but no bread. What the heck? Thanks for all the follows, guys, over on Twitch. Thanks for subbing on YouTube as well. Thanks for all the gift bombs, super chats, all that great stuff. I, I hope you're all uh, excited. This is finally the last weekend before Manor Lords, so it's really cool. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, Soulfly, thank you very much for the two. Have you found the missing bolt on your nice helmet? I didn't even look. Um, Manor Lords sent over a really cool, like, war helmet, but it's just missing a bolt that I need to, like, close the mask. And I think it just fell out, and it's in the box somewhere. So, uh like a pin i think but yeah thank you very much dude for the for the two yeah 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 all right let's build a storehouse too we should probably get the firewood saved up and maybe we'll put the storehouse up here Okay. Yeah, we definitely should get as much food as possible stored up. Synergy looks interesting, yeah. Look at those beautiful fields. So two families will be taking care of this field. And there's the outhouse. I think you guys should put it over here next to the field, uh, the uh, road. Well, maybe a little away, like over here. town has already made eight down 80 how did they make money where does Jim Bob the third live uh, down by the river in a van <laughs> okay we should also build the plank cutting station The saw pit. Mm. Is a way to rotate without using. Oh, there is. Okay. What kind of fights you, though? That's fine. Alright, we're going to uh, build the saw pit so we can make planks, so we can make the church. And the church will go right up here, and we need to get trees cut down. And we have nobody to do that yet. I'm giving you so many ideas. If you guys want ideas on what to build, I've got like um, two hours worth of tutorial videos out on the channel already. Just go to the videos tab and they're like the most recent ones. I, I didn't yet get a chance to make a playlist. A lot of you guys have been saying I've been doing a poor job of the playlist. You're right. I'm sorry. I've been busy playing this game all day, trying to learn everything I can, making videos. And then I basically just res you know respond to some emails, have some dinner, clean up a bit, and then head right to bed and do it again. So, you know, we've been waiting for this moment for four years. So, you know, give me, give me, give me like a week and then I'll get all caught up on that. But there's good stuff on the channel if you just go to the videos tab. And then those tutorials are like farming, surviving your first winter, how to um, uh, basically build like a beautiful layout, that kind of thing. And uh, I'm not the only one. There's a lot of great people covering this game. Coming up with 
cool ways to do things. And I'm really excited to just see my friend Uthras play this game. I hope he gets it and wants to play too. Yeah, this game's um, over 2 million. I think actually... Wait, no, no, no. I think it's got... Um, I know that Frostpunk said 2.5 million pe people. No. Or was it 2 million? I don't know. I think Frostpunk 2 was 2 million. This game is 2.5 million wish listed. And then Hades 2 is somewhere between those two. Regardless, it's a great year for games. Another great year for games. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 2.5. Because Frostpunk said they had 2 million. And this was above that. So, uh, look, as we get closer to the release, especially over the next week, that number is just going to go up. It could get close to 3 million. Who knows? People just wish listing. How many people get it on release day? We'll see. But, um, yeah. Can you play with friends? There's, it's not multiplayer, but if you'd like to, you know, you can always uh, take turns. Have each person in your family manage a city or something like that, you know? Hot seat. What's up, Indrid? How you doing? Hey, thanks for the raids on Twitch recently, by the way. Indrid, I don't know if I uh, put a command for your Twitch page on YouTube, but we should definitely do that. Um, I don't think I have a command, so you know what? I'm going to just tab out and do that now. Indrid's joined us for a lot of um, games like Ke Kebab This and Content Warning That, and uh, Her Morgan, you know, Jerry. Those are a few people we've streamed with a bit, but they... They, uh, you know, either they started recently streaming or I never really shouted them out before. So let's let's give credit where credit is due. Let's see. And I think Indrid was playing uh, a game that I enjoyed on our channel recently called Botany Manor. And I think and, Indrid uh, was playing. Uh, a oh my game god, that she's I hosting me too. Oh my god, I think. Anyway, um, here is the link to Indrid's channel if you want to follow over there. I'll just I'll just spam the hell out of it. Do you have a link? Oh, you do. Okay, exclamation point Indrid in the chat. Oh, well, since I've already copied it, there it is. Boom. Enjoy. Uh, if Indrid joins us in the future for content warning, kebab simulator, whatever, she'll stream on her channel too. And it's awesome. So I'm glad to see so many people. Bradford streaming, Red, Lumberjack. It's cool. Everybody's gotten into streaming a little bit, and they, they enjoy it. So good work. Yeah, make sure you follow. Mandatory follow of Indrid's channel. And also, thanks the other day for subscribing to uh, Elmox's channel, too. Our friend Elmox was trying to get uh, live streaming going on his channel to test something. He was buying a GoPro. Um, like three. I don't know. We were going to go to Japan, and he was going to stream from a backpack, but we, he needed 50 subs to be able to test the live streaming feature. So I asked you guys to subscribe to him, and like somewhere around 100 people or whatnot now have subscribed to him just so he could test something out. So thanks to like 100 people for just hitting the button to help him out. So we could maybe possibly stream for Japan from Japan for you guys, which would be cool. Uh, do you just leave your old towns to manage themselves? No, I, I go back on occasion. Actually, I'm kind of managing them all simultaneously. But yeah, this this down here, since there's no real reward for upgrading it anymore, I kind of just it's sitting on idle. But the two the two new towns, yeah, we're definitely still managing. But the big town still is important because I can ship stuff from the big city to other, um, you know, the other cities. Yeah, the. The uh, the game is not bugged out anymore. I don't I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to explain that. It was just a weird camera thing that I couldn't solve, and then just magically, well, it was a bug again this morning, and then I reloaded, and then it wasn't a problem. There's Morgan in the chat too. Yeah, Morgan streams uh, on Twitch on Twitch on Twitch too. I think right. I haven't yet been raided by Morgan, so I can't I can't confirm or deny. We gotta get Harry to stream now. I think Rick streams, but not Harry. And those boys want to play Construction Simulator this weekend. All the new Construction Sim is out, and I love that game, but also Manor Lords. It's been four years waiting, so gotta give this a little time. Four years. That's like five minus one. Wait. Okay, yeah. Also, you know what? You know one thing I've noticed in with Europeans when I was in Europe, I, I thought it was funny, is that they will. Uh, they start with their thumb when they count. So one, two, three, four, five. But here, or at least people I know, you start with your pointer finger, 
and end because you you hold your fingers like this. You you put your thumb across your fingers. So you go one, two, three, four. You hold your pinky down, and you go four and five. But I've always noticed it's like, oh, how much do I owe you, dude? Ah, oh, let me see. One, two, three. You know. Maybe it depends on where you go, but there was just one thing I noticed. I was like, tee hee, you're up. Aussie start with a thumb as well, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if that's like a national thing, or if, or if it's just per, like people just choose that way. But I've noticed when people were counting, I just kind of kept an eye on it, and I was like, oh, that's something different. Am I done traveling for a bit, or do you have more plans? Oh, I have plans. I'll be leaving for Japan in a few days. I think it was going to be May first, but I'm. Um, there's a few friends in Japan. I, we didn't know this until recently, but Japan has something coming up called Golden Week, and it's basically like a week-long holiday, essentially. A lot of people have this time off or take it off for many different reasons. And uh, <clears throat> found out some of my friends from Japan will have their holiday, so I might go there early to see them and then also invite them to come hang out with my other friends, Elmox and Uthris. Uh, and we'll all meet up, and then uh, I think we might go to Universal Studios and some other stuff. But it all depends on everybody's, you know, it's a, it's a time where people are already taking vacation. They don't just sit around and do nothing, so they might already have plans. So we're planning to plan out plans when we plan that, but I don't know what the plan is. So we'll figure that out. <laughs> Yo, get a piece of Dark. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we're thumb starters in the UK. Okay, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's where I'm from. Well, you know how it is, right? It, it could also just be determined by your your teachers when you're young. You know, the the teachers will just be, all right, everybody, one, two. We're gonna count to ten. One, two. You know, you just mimic what they do and ne never think about it again. You know, who knows? Go check theme cafes in Japan. They're freaking awesome. Yeah, I really like to go to. I have in my phone a bunch of pictures of places that I really like to go. But I'm definitely going to go back to Coco Curry. And then i got to figure out what this one Japanese place is called. It's not called Shibuya, but in my mind I keep thinking of Shibuya. They have this wonderful simple dish with like four ingredients. And then uh, there's this breakfast place, and I forget what it's called. And i got to find it again. It's like a ch There's a couple of chains... But Coco is God tier. If you happen to go to Japan and you see a Coco curry, you stop there and you'll thank me. You will thank me later. But and if you're not if you're not into curry, it's not really a spicy curry. There, there's many options. I'm just saying. But I think there's something there you'll like, really. Yeah, we'll go to Japan at the end of the month. So this is why I'm really happy that Manor Lords came, that that content creators got access beforehand because if I got access like. You know, on the 26th or something like that, I would have been like sad because been like, oh, I can only play for like four days. Have I ever been down to Okinawa? Yes, you were stationed there for three years. Yeah, yeah, Okinawa was great. <laughs> they have a different beer down there, I think, called Orion, and they also have a, uh, a blue seal down there. There was like the military had an ice cream facility down there for all the troops in the Pacific. I think they would make it or store it there, and then they didn't do that anymore, and then Japan bought it, and it's called Blue Seal. So there's like a big ice cream brand in Okinawa called Blue Seal. And then uh, I went to like the America Town there, which was freaking wild. Like, the moment you pull into that parking lot, it's like, the hell, did I go home? <laughs> like, there's like an Old Navy, a Hollister, a, a Five Guy. I went to a freaking... Um, what the hell was it called? To uh, Tony Roma's <laughs> in, in Okinawa. I was like, what the hell are we doing here? And my friends were like, I was like, oh, is this a good American place? And I'm like, I guess. Like, I, I've never been to one. It could be good. It, it was okay. You know, like, it was good. I wasn't blown away, but it was because I was in Japan wanting Japanese food. But for them, it was like a huge steak. And they were like, oh, we'd never get huge steaks in Japan. So it's like, okay. For me, this is normal. For you, this is heaven. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. But yeah, the the uh, the America Town or whatever down there is crazy. I also went snorkeling down there and, and diving off Okinawa, and I, I saw that giant aquarium that they have there too. I think that might be the biggest one in Japan, or the biggest one in Asia, or the biggest one in the world. It's the biggest of something. I don't know. It's big, 
but they have a massive shark in there. Exclamation point Instagram. I got a picture of the giant shark that's in there. You don't realize how big sharks are until you've got like 15 people lined up in a row and you can you can see this thing being as long as like 15 people standing in a line next to each other. I mean, it's crazy. And then the aquarium itself, it's like four story. Like you look up and it's like, how the hell did they build that? And then, you know, the glass, the thickness of that glass has to be insane. It's got to be, you know, like a quarter of a meter. I don't know. I don't know. Half a meter thick. I have no idea. It's crazy crazy so i'm very excited my friends this time around want to do a little more chill experience and go into some more rural areas i'm fine with that that's cool but i do like walking around and just endlessly going into shops looking at stuff and not not really buying anything but just seeing how japan does business it still blows me away it's really cool They start with their pinky in Australia because they're in the Southern Hemisphere. Oh, really? That <laughs> that have anything to do with anything? Oh, good. We're getting more people. Excellent. Oh, are we done with the bodies? I think we're done burying the bodies. I think they're done. I'm not getting a warning for it anymore, so all right, we'll call that good. Now, seven people are now free to help build homes and probably chop wood. Actually, no. We got more than enough of that. How many oxen do we have? We have base for eight. Okay. Um, let's build some stables. Upgrade those two. Well, my son was born there and has a Naha on his shirt, on his birth uh, certificate. Pretty great. That's awesome. Yeah, Okinawa is great. I went to a. I found this small. This guy operated this burger joint out of his house. It was called Benjamin Burger. I don't know if you guys can find this place on like Google Maps or whatever. But we were driving. Uh, it was like a day after like a, a typhoon had hit Okinawa. No big deal for them. I was like, whoa, a typhoon, dude. Is it gonna be okay? My friends like, yeah, it's fine. There were like there were some tree branches on the road and like they they were able to clean up all the damage within like a few hours and damage was basically just trees blocking the road that was about it because they were they were locked in and ready for it and uh, we go to what looked to be a guy's house and it said Benjamin Burger and we go in there it was, it was an amazing burger it was very tiny a little bit of fries a little burger but it was like whoa this was really good. Do I speak Japanese? Uh, not really. I mean, I got the basics down, you know. Um, yeah. I got some of the basics down. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, right, they have a, yeah, a replica of a English Tudor town. Yeah, I saw that in, like, Abroad in Japan's videos a few years ago. Great to great to see Japan again, though. I really enjoyed um, driving in Japan. There's so many tunnels. I feel like there was more tunnels on the roads than when I was on trains. It was crazy. Uh, the red boundary is our territory, so that's a good thing. We want the map to be all red. All red means all right. Yeah. Uh, there was a good question in the chat. I missed it. Where is it? Um, somebody asked a good question. Oh, uh, you. Oh, that's what I wanted to respond to. You should come and visit Scotland. Yes, I have a friend in Scotland. I'd like to go. Scotland is... Uh, Scotland's a place that I, I hear about, like, I swear, somebody mentioned Scotland, like, once every week. I'll hear something about Scotland. Or something to do with Scotland. Or we'll just make a Back to the Future reference. And someone will just say, Great Scott. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. And it'll just make me think of Scotland. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning, chat. Welcome. Good to see you all locked in for the Lords of the Manor. The Manor Lords. Hopefully we have another battle here soon. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum. Save the clock tower. <clears throat> you should link up with the Sea Dog VA out in Japan. Voice acting? Yeah, that'd be cool to do. Imagine if I was an anime character. I got it down. All I got to do is a couple confused noises. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know why that's a thing in Japan. Like, someone will be working the register at like a Starbucks. This will be the anime. It's just called Starbucks Employee the Anime. It's got a sweet intro, throwing on the, the apron and stuff, all to, uh, you know, Japanese rock. Guy gets to work, a couple people in line, and he's just surprised that every time someone walks up to the register. Someone will be like, oh, I'd like a uh, tall black venti latte, maki latte, ada. Uh-huh. Like, like they're always surprised. Like, how how is this surprising? You're at work. There, that's where people go, is to where you work. I was just find it funny that there's just like a noise whenever somebody's nearby. I don't know why it does that. I didn't know this was out yet. It's not. That's why the release day counter in the upper right corner is counting down to its uh, early access release on April 26, 2024. Content creators and streamers have gotten access, of course, to promote the game ahead of time. And also to test out for bugs. But everybody will get a better version of this game on launch, I think. A couple bugs are being ironed out, but it's nothing major. He's a British streamer, does mostly game streams these days. That's cool. You know, I watch a lot of uh, people who are, I guess, let's just say Westerners who are in Japan. People who have moved there for all different reasons. And it's cool to see people just like... Well, like, for example, what's that one channel called? Bacon... Something? Bacon World? I don't know. A guy will just put, you know, some money into a vending machine, get out, like, an instant um, ramen kit, make the... Like, go, go to a pretty park, add water to something, you know, it'll, it'll heat it up. It's a very well-done vlog where the... It's just all done without talking, where there's text on screen sometimes. Where it's like, I bought, I bought a train ticket. I'm really excited. Yeah, dancing bacon. <laughs> like, it's very, it's very basic and mind-blowingly fascinating. Like, it'll just be like, I bought a train ticket for Japan's longest train route. And it'll just show them, like, getting, like, getting the ticket out of the machine or something and then getting on the train. This train is really nice, but the seats could be more cozy. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like somebody's granddad reviewing a train. I don't want to complain, but I think... That their water could have had more locally sourced minerals. <laughs> I love, I love that man. Bum, 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 bum. You still gonna do Hiroshima to try the uh, version of? Uh, oh, I don't know if we're going to Hiroshima this time, but I do have a video live stream of me up. In <laughs> interestingly enough, in 2019, 18, in 2018, when I I went to Hiroshima, I was in the Hiroshima Peace Park, a place where the atomic bomb detonated above Hiroshima, and is now like a national site of like peace and prosperity and understanding and. Uh, basically no wars, right? Don't want to do that again. That wasn't fun. Let's never do that again. And you get to see where, like, literally, um, you know, all the all the horrible things that happened. Like, literally, uh, bottles that had melted together and all these other things. And, um, but, it's, it's a place where there was just tons of school children and, um, you know, like, beautiful little monuments and, like, there's a bell that you can ring... That's just kind of like, you know, there's like a big, a big bell that you can just kind of just ring. It's just supposed to be the sound of peace. Anyway, in uh, traditional YouTube fashion, <laughs> that stream was demonetized for being uh, uh, too sensitive for advertisers. <laughs> yes, me going to a city that has been around for thousands of years, which is now famous because of a, an atomic bomb being dropped on it, but now trying to probably till this day and far into the future healing those wounds 
of a nation torn and scorned by war and now turning towards understanding in a period of peace. It's too hot. It's too hot for advertisers. <laughs> I'll always remember that because it was the most peaceful experience. And they're very, they're very much focused on peace there. Like, that's all they want is to be like, let's, you know, let's... Let's, let's turn towards diplomacy and democracy and all that stuff and let, let's let's not forget the past and look towards the future. Dude, can't do it. It's too risky. Coca-Cola, they want you out, pal. <laughs> like, what? The <laughs> anyway, I disputed it and I got it back, but I just love how YouTube just rushed to... Uh... That means, like, if you stream from Hiroshima, can't do it, dude. Can't do it. The city's known for only... it. Apparently, they think it's just a bomb crater. And it's still, like, Fallout. These idiots. Did no research on anything. Like, no, the city's rebuilt. It's been that way for nearly 100 years. Like, well, not really, but, I mean, you'd never know. You'd never know. <laughs> it's like if you happen to be live streaming and you're driving, you're, you know, you're... You're, you're streaming and someone else is driving and you pass through Hiroshima. Stream cuts off. Hiroshima doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. It's what they, they, they don't want you to know that it like actually was rebuilt and it's fine. <laughs> they're, they're doing, I'm pretty sure they're doing just fine in Hiroshima. They've got some beautiful trams. And uh, Nagasaki too, but can't go there. Idiots. Ah. <sighs> I'm, I'm talking about YouTube here. This is like every, everything's too hot to handle. <laughs> Actually, they've chilled out quite a bit over the last uh, couple years. I don't. I used to got. I used to get demonetized for the dumbest things. Like the, there was this little push for on YouTube for a while where they were really freaking about any sort of human body liquids, which was a very interestingly phrased push. To where me and a ton of YouTubers for about a month had to fight on every video that had any sort of like guns in it because you know you shoot somebody or you play a horror game and kill a zombie blood comes out did you know that chat oh my god can't can't allow that uh, okay youtube so you've essentially you've shut down 90 percent of the video game industry like even this game has blood when you kill dudes somebody could be dismembered and there could be blood and it's like bro it's just it's just a game calm down you know, you shoot a zombie in a game and its head goes flying off. Can't do it, dude. Dismemberment. Can't do it. Blood. Can't do it, dude. Can't do it. Anyway, they chilled out on that, too. Because every time they try to pull this crap where they're like, you know what? We're going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to shut down everything. We want, we want YouTube to just be a blank screen that just plays ads. Dude, they'd be happy if it was just a black screen, just, you know, advertise, like just nonstop ads. That's the goal, the end goal. Now chat's got me all fired up again. I'm going to calm down. We're, we're talking about Manor Lords here. I'm getting too fired up. Getting too fired up. Uh, let's take a deep breath. Let's think about Japan. Beautiful cherry blossoms, sakura trees. You know, actually, one thing I really want to do with Japan is... Um, I want to go to uh, Japan in the fall. And... Uh, see all the fall colors and a lot of the trees turn gold color like a bright yellow and gold color and they have a lot of trains where they'll they'll drive along very slowly and they light all of these trees up at night and it's it's crazy it's like these trees are like glowing at nighttime like you know how like in subnautica you get to certain areas where it's dark but all the plants are like bioluminescent that's what it looks like it's crazy i got to see that stuff but those are the two things I gotta do, is go for a Sakura season, and then go for fall. Maybe I'll go back this uh, this fall, this autumn. Maybe I'll go to Japan again. Hm. Who knows? Alright, we're making some good cash. Uh, let's see. Where's the big town? Fritzburg, right. Not the big town, but the new town. Okay. Did they finish the storehouse? Good. Okay, we need somebody working at the storehouse. Um, 
How did I earn all the uh, personal gold? Uh, I just have a tax rate of like 5% at a super um, profitable town. So I think 5% of all the money that that town's making gives me a huge amount of cash. I don't even need this money anymore. I, re I may as well just make the tax rate zero. I don't, I don't even need this money anymore. Also, this town is making money and I don't even know. How? Didn't they have 50 before? This town's not even trading. How are they making cash? Anyway, I need somebody at the... I need to start cutting down trees and clearing land. And I need one person on construction. Actually, uh, yeah. This town's gonna take a while to grow. It, re it always takes a long time. Oh god, yeah. 7-Eleven, Family Mart, or Lawson's. Oh my god. You know, honestly, the one I see the most in Japan is probably Family Mart. And then Lawson's, and I barely find 7-Elevens for whatever reason. I heard they were supposed to be everywhere. I don't know if when I went they were just kind of like downsizing or something, but I barely saw 7-Eleven. See, it seems like 7-Eleven, I thought it would be more encountered on the street level, but I think I've seen more 7-Elevens that are standalone stores that you're supposed to pull into with your car, I think. But Family Mart, and same with Lawson's, but Family Mart seems to be the one that's got the most like foot locations. Like you can, you can walk into a well, lock, walk down the sidewalk and pass three of them. It's crazy. In Tokyo, they're just as common as Family Mart. I thought so too. I looked for them. I, did, I just didn't. I just didn't see them. I was looking for them. I'm like, where the hell's the Seven Eleven? I thought it would be. I thought it'd be Seven Eleven, and then Family Mart. I heard about Family Mart too, but I thought it'd be a, a far second. And then I didn't even know about Lawson's the first time I went. But Lawson's is cool. Lawson's is such a weird store. It's a. Um, it feels like a Casey's. <laughs> If you know if you're if you know Casey's, then you know Lawson's. It's weird, man. And 7-Eleven's just 7-Eleven, but you know, replace all products with just Japanese-themed products, I guess. Uh, is the Shibuya dish that you're thinking of perhaps shabu shabu, the pot? Oh, the the pot dish where you cook it, your own meat. No, it's um. All right, I'll try to find this place so we can end the confusion. Let me check something. Okay, first of all, Japan, rice, beef, onion, restaurant. All right, let me look this up. Ah, that's what it's called. Uh, this place is called Sukiyaki, and the thing I like is called Gyudon. Or at least, uh, the dish that I really like is called Gyudon. And I think this restaurant's called Sukiyaki. I think. Or it's a type of Sukiyaki. Okay, that's why it's called that. It's literally named after it. Is that it? Let me make sure. It's the name of a dish, but it also, I think, is the name of a restaurant. Maybe it's not. Uh, anyway, sukiyaki is amazing. It's literally, it's, it's like three, four ingredients. It's crazy. Gyudon, yeah, 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 yeah. The the beef rice bowl. It's crazy, dude. I'm a big fan of ramen, but uh, that that's uh, that's that's a crazy thing. Uh, yeah, I had uh, I forget how to say that. Oko no yaki, whatever. Yeah, I had that in Osaka. Mm-hmm. But that's why chat brought up the Hiroshima uh, reference because the, apparently Hiroshima does that but different. Doesn't I'm, it doesn't surprise me that every place in Japan has the same food but a different style of that that could be completely different with a different name. Because it's amazing you get you get a couple simple ingredients together and do them differently you can get completely different flavors and different names. Or you you substitute one ingredient you know like something that's supposed to be beef or pork with uh fish or sushi or uh, i mean uh, like shrimp or some something like that you get something completely different it's crazy yeah the sauce makes all the difference yeah 
Yeah, Coco Curry is outstanding, yeah. How are we doing here? All right, we got a lot of construction, but it's taking a long time. Even though we have eight free families. Oh, and they're bringing in supplies. Good. Let's upgrade that too. Should we get another oxen? Yeah. Make that faster. Mama. A lot of people, yeah, I think everybody's talking about going back to Japan because finally, you know, it's been about a year since COVID's been over for Japan. They've kind of relaxed their restrictions and it's easier to travel within the country again. It, it's, things are relatively back to normal, probably about 95 to 100%. Everybody's ready to get back to business. Um, but the most important thing is when you visit Japan, just like if you were to visit someone's home, you treat it with absolute dignity and respect at all times no matter what quit being a goof ass you dumbass creators stop it people going over there causing trouble be respectful man and by the way japan and all japanese people want you to have a good time when you're there they want you to uh, enjoy and be fascinated by their country and they will help you if you ask a question or something like that people will go out of their way so don't take advantage of that be very thankful for that People want you to see and do all the things you want to do, but within reason. So just be nice. They're very nice. Yeah, they'll go. They'll go out of the way. They're like they're like Disneyland employees. Hey, you guys having a good time? Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, cool. Now, now I gotta find the name of this restaurant. So I know the dish that I like, gyudon, but... Wow. I'll look it up later, screw it. All right, anyway, uh, what are we doing here? So we got a supply issue of food. Oh, they're complaining about food again. No, it's a place that starts with an S. I, don't, I can't remember. When I'm on my flight to Japan, I'll do all my research then. When I'm, when I'm in the plane. Maybe when I get back, I'll, I'll research it, what I'm going to do when I come back. All right, what are we doing? We got to get locked in with some more cool stuff going on. Um, so Fritzburg only has a problem with exposed goods, and I don't know why they won't pick up the bread. I, actually, I think this was a problem last time when we expanded to the other city, too. Yeah, they're just... The storehouse picked up the firewood and the stones. Are, oh, actually, there's... Either they're eating that, or it's going bad, or they're storing it. I think it's going bad. Yeah, it must be. Or they're eating it. They're not storing it. I don't know. Pantry is full. Oh, this house needs more pickup. And let's try to build some more granaries here for storage. Build those two next to each other. Oh, and we were clearing the land here for farming, so we got to get this cleared out. Hopefully, we can farm next spring. Oh, and we're maxed out on logs, but that shouldn't be the case. Like all these logs should be getting delivered to construction sites. We've got five oxen. wandering around doing construction out of nine fa eight families yeah. 
What was the name of the dish? Uh, the dish I like is called uh, Gyudon. I also like me some uh, Yakitori, Yakiniku, and... Um, this is heavier than Whatever that, whatever the chicken dumpling is, that starts with a G too. It's like a. You can easily make them at home. Do you have to allow particular resources to be stored? No, it should be automatic. Also, I found out that I can't restrict resources. I I hope they update that for the uh, for the release. Um. I've had it happen where I've made uh, storage for specific items. Like, there's one where I, like, I built a storage thing where I only wanted it to store weapons. So I said, like, nothing other than weapons. And then they still put stuff in there anyway. So I can't gyoza. Yeah, that's it. Gyoza is what I like. Um, that's the chicken dish with the dumplings. But the, um, yeah, I can't, I can't figure out how to do storage in this game really effectively. So I think that might be a little... That needs to be tweaked a little bit, too. Do I like eel? Um, maybe? I don't... Yes, I've had eel before. At, like, a local sushi place. It was alright. It was cool. I was like, oh, that's eel? Okay. Alright. It wasn't, like, good or bad. It was... Well, it was good. It wasn't It wasn't what I expected. So I was like, oh, okay. But it would be a thing that I wouldn't look for it on a menu because I kind of would forget about it. Like, I'd, tef I'd definitely do it again, but I feel like most sushi restaurants that I go to probably wouldn't have that. Yeah. Eel avocado rolls. I think that's exactly what I add to something like that. Okay, these guys are mad about the market, so we're increasing the granary storage. Actually, I'm trying to increase the amount of people working there. But we got to get all these damn uh, houses done. What about the main town? That's fine. There you go. Yeah, Sukia. That's what it's called. There you go. The gyu down you're talking about is Sukia. Yep, you're right. That's exactly it. There's also Yoshi, Yoshinoya and Matsuya. Okay. I don't know. Sukiya I saw, though. I was, like, I was impressed with that place. It felt like stepping back in time. When I went in there, I thought it was like 1970. <laughs> like everything just seemed so old. And it was great. It was like, wow. It was like walking into a time capsule. It's like, what? when this works, why change anything? It's just simple rice, onion, beef. Like, why would you change any of this? It's great. The garlic house in Okinawa is a must. Damn. Well, I might have to go back to Okinawa. My friends in Japan, they see Okinawa as how Americans see Hawaii. Okinawa is kind of like a vacation destination for its beaches. Japan has some wonderful beaches and they're gorgeous. But the Japanese, and probably the same opposite. Like people in Okinawa probably think someplace else is probably more beautiful than that. You know, grass is always greener, right? But that's a big thing in Japan where people think that... Like, most people in central Japan think Okinawa has, like, the best beaches, and so they like to go there for, like, swimming with the kids and then going and seeing the aquarium and the zoo. <laughs> Everything symmetrical? Oh, for me? Mmm... Yeah, there's some symmetry and some asymmetrical stuff here for sure. Do we have the rain on the shingles again? Look at that, dude. The game, you can literally see the rain coming off the shingles. Do you see this? Look at this. Do you have the night settings on lately? Um, oh, uh, the, the game's lighting will change based on the, um, the weather. The day-night cycle is not on, but... Yeah, it'll get brighter and darker based on weather conditions. Wow, look at that, though. Holy hell. Wow. Chat. Look at this. Wow. 
don't know if there's much I could do to make the screen brighter, though, aside from turning out the weather. Uh, yeah, I don't see any brightness settings. We could turn on and off clouds, but I don't know. I don't think that'll change the lighting. It is kind of hard to see things, though, I will agree. Like, unless you zoom in during the rain. It is kind of hard. But that's another great thing about this game, that you can zoom out. Like, to this, this is pretty much your maximum zoom out. And you can definitely see and actually, like, do stuff from here. Like, you could build roads from this distance if you want to. That's a field, but yeah. Oh, it's a big old hammer. We did it, chat. Yay. I'm one of these people. I start in the lower left corner, then I go top, right, left, right, down. That's what I do. Uh, can we just import everything we don't have to produce? Um, you can import stuff. It's very expensive. But one of the problems I've seen with imports is that they take a very long time. Um, in the big town that you just saw, I'm trying to import a ton of food and other stuff to make sure we always have a surplus. And then I'm trying to donate that food to the church to generate influence. But it happens very, very, very slowly. Like, even on the higher speeds, it takes a very long time for stuff to come in from the border be stored and then brought into your town and then I don't know how the calculation works for giving influence like I don't know if the church takes it once a month or if it's a daily thing I don't know but I've been trying to get them to take 85% of my surplus just so we can <laughs> I want them to take all my food so I can get the influence so I can just capture the other regions like at this point we can clap this guy's cheeks no problem out in the field I mean you saw that last battle that was cool that uh, that river battle of the uh, on the shoreline that was a that was probably the best battle we had. Like, that was really cool. We had the high ground, and it was just great. Yeah, I've added more trains. Like, here, look. I built five train stations. One's in the main part of the town, and I built four. And I just don't want to keep building, like, train stations and, and having horses to trade all this stuff. Like, I feel, in my opinion, I feel like these should either be upgradable or there should be a different size. Like, this is a trade post. But maybe there could be like a big trading hub that has like a, like the trade depot from um, Austria. That's like a big thing. I don't know. I'd love to be able to do that though. Is to to do more trade, but not have it take um, more space. Like I I really don't want to make like an Amazon fulfillment site to ship in bread. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't want to have a, a like a container port just to like you know do something that a few horses should be able to do. I think some things could definitely be tweaked, though. There's there's certainly a lot of room in this game for improvement. But this is an, an incredible starting point for this game. I think all the things that we've always wanted are here. And then the things that we don't want, or that we don't know we want, will come out eventually in time. Like, if you if you play, you know, this for, like, maybe 20, 30, 40 hours, you, you could probably make a list of 10 things you wish would be different. And I think those are things the developer could certainly make changes and work towards and make an announcement and say, hey... I know you guys think these things should be changed. That's a good idea. What do you think about if we change it to this? And then everyone can vote on it and be like, oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, man. You started the bottom left too for the for the star, yeah. Uh, engine. I don't remember what engine this is on. Um, combustion. I have no idea. Is it true for the King's Road there is new trade route roll where the there used to be a main road but it went through the town. Um, I don't know anything about trade in the King's Road except for that there's like nodes at the end of each region. 
Yeah, Unreal 4, chat says. Unreal 4. <laughs> That's Unreal, man. Wow, thanks for the new subs. Thanks for the new follows. Welcome to all you new members. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for hanging out. Last weekend, chat. This is the last weekend. We're down to about six days. Six days till the release of this game. Very nice. Very excited. I can feel the hype. The hype and the excitement. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot, There's a lot of, of hype and, and excitement. excitement his... That's right. Yeah, so... A lot of things regarding trade and whatnot, I, I think a lot of the financial part of this game, like anything that's numbers, I think is going to change. Like, I don't think farming is going to change too much, like with crop rotation and how those things work. But I think, you know, like we're going to see changes towards how the treasury works, how, how fast influence is gained, how the uh, regional wealth system works. I think those things will be... Those will be things that the developer can tweak in the back end, like in a spreadsheet. Like, you wouldn't notice that up front. But it'll definitely... You'll, you'll notice it in the game, but it won't be like... I don't think there'll be a new building to resolve those issues, like, you know, Tier 2 Trade Depot or something. However, I would love it for every building to be upgradable in the game. Like, the uh, the hitching posts are upgradable to a stable. You know, the storehouses are upgradable. The training post definitely needs to be the churches, and I think it can go even further. You know, Burgage plots can be upgraded to Tier 3 and 4 in the future. But I would love for more, you know, maybe to be, to be able to upgrade the charcoal kiln somehow. Like the woodcutter's lodge would be nice to upgrade that too. But a lot of these, I don't know how you would upgrade like a simple building like this. This dude, his job is to go out to the woods, cut down a tree, bring back some logs, and split it into firewood. I don't know how you could make that any more productive. But what would be nice though is if you could increase the... Um, you know, build something to make the storage larger, perhaps. And by doing that, it somehow made them more productive or something? Like, they could store more? It'd be cool if a, a building had a higher local storage. Yeah, and there'll be the barracks and the, the archery range and stuff in the future. Man, that town is good. Um, no. Okay, cool. Locked in. <laughs> yeah, I hope everybody is uh, gonna gonna get this game for sure and enjoys it. You want to see the city from a third-person view? We can walk through the town now that it's a nice little sunny day. Oh, I love this weather. This is great. I always end up taking pictures. Of this. <laughs> I have like 3,000 of the same photo because I just love it so much. Now you can't build city walls. I do have a FAQ down below in the description too, by the way, for everybody on YouTube. Uh, there are some pretty common questions that I've tried to give some answers to, and we'll be probably changing those when the game releases, you know, when we know more answers and stuff. So certainly a helpful resource for you for now. We'll uh, we'll take a little little walk through town. Uh, how do you donate to you Raptor? Oh, you wanna you wanna um, support the channel? Um, you can become a member. Click join. If you have a Twitch Prime sub, you could type exclamation point uh, Twitch if you wanted to. You could drop a super chat if you'd like. Um, there's a PayPal link down below in the description as well. Um, you could buy something on the Epic Game Store and just use code Raptor at checkout. Uh, you could also just subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, um, just put a one in the chat. All those interactions and stuff like that helps the channel to grow. The bigger the channel is, the more developers that will find the channel will get more access to early early access to games. Um, like, for example, with Manor Lords here, I've uh, reached out to the developers and been like, uh, hey, you know, if you guys... Uh, if you guys are doing any sort of giveaways or whatnot, uh, like if you have more keys, we'd, we'd love to do a giveaway. I wasn't... I put it in a way where it's just like, hey, if you guys are doing giveaways, just let me know. I'd my 
I'd love to do a giveaway. My community would love it. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notification bell and follow and all that stuff. Because if, if and when we get more keys, I'll, uh, I'll be giving them away. This is Christmas guy. You think this is Santa, this guy? He kind of does have a little Santa Claus vibe, doesn't he? We're going to walk all the way up to the church. I'll give you guys a, a whole walk through the town. Yo. Allie, thank you very much, dude, for the five. Dude, it, it's a first super chat, too. Thank you, man. Let's see if it reads that off for you. Otherwise, I'll do it. Uh, maybe it won't. If I try to read it, it's gonna it's gonna talk over me. I know it. I'll read it. Raptor, you're legendary. Thanks for your dedication to this game, going strong, my boy. Hell yeah, we're gonna be playing this every day till release. So this is your uh, central command center for all things manor boards. Upgrade the tool. Oh, you can't upgrade roads. No. Uh, roads will kind of change if there's like a house built. There'll be like a little trail, and then if there's a house or a building built next to them, they'll kind of get a little wider and become. Like you can kind of see it here. Like there's your kind of road, and then now we're kind of on a trail again, kind of. I think it depends on if there's a node nearby. And yeah, it's not perfect. There's a few things that glitch out, but we've seen worse. Oh, is this an apple orchard here? Yeah, the buildings look outstanding. Yo, Thunder Knight just dropped a five bomb for the YouTube chat as well. Exclamation point uh, gift in the YouTube chat if you want to be gifted a membership. you got to turn it on in advance. When you load in, map resources are randomized for each playthrough. Yes. Do locations change from mines and hunting grounds? Yes. Yeah. Every plot, every region will always have the same resources. You know, like um, berries, animals, iron ore, that kind of thing. They'll, they'll have them all. But it is randomized to where they are, how much there is, and then if it is a uh, rich deposit. And a rich deposit will just have more. And if it's a mineral deposit, like, well, clay too, but stone and iron, uh, you can build a deep mine there, which gives you infinite resources. So capturing a county or having a county or a region that has infinite iron is pretty important. But maybe not, because literally I could be the world's first billionaire in this game. I mean, given enough time, the money would just generate endlessly. Yeah, in the future, if we could get, like, little stone roads that look like this, or to build a public, like, the market, if we could just put down some stones like that, that'd be really nice. But the tier 3 burgage plots give a little... Oh, is this guy sick? Hmm, I've never seen somebody walk like that before. It's so cool. There's animations for people rolling ale barrels around, carts, mules. A big city like this, you could just see all the different things going on. And I don't think these, these aren't just randomized. Like, these are people going to... That guy's going to the granary to drop off flour or whatever. People are delivering berries. A little open here. Yeah, there's a little bit of clutter sometimes. Not perfect, but, you know, when you're in the sky, I mean, this level of detail from above looks perfect. Here it looks really good. I don't know what that person's doing. Bum, bum, bum. 
Can the Lord runneth? Yeah, we can we can do a little sprinting. But I'm just walking. I ain't in no rush. We're taking it in. We've all traveled to medieval Europe on a fun little field trip. Yo, Allie, thank you again for another five. Everyone donate if you want Raptor to do a 24-hour stream. I mean, if there was any game I was going to do for 24 hours, it could be this one. But uh, that, I'm going to have to figure that out because I need to take breaks and eat stuff. And everyone would have to be, boy, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, you can walk uh, around as the Lord in battle, yep. You can inspect your troops and... Give them a little speech before they go out, you know, in your mind. Pretty. That took us, like, what? Five minutes to walk through the whole town? Yeah, primarily one guy did all this, yeah. How did I fix the camera bug? I have no idea. I, I don't. I just loaded in again and it just seemed to work, so hopefully we don't have an issue again. So yeah, so we walked all the way from here, all the way up to the top. But to get to this point, it took, uh, what are we on year, we're on year 10. We've been building in this game for a decade. That's a lot of progress for 10 years in the, in the medieval era. I'm surprised not everybody's dead from eight diseases. Can you enter any buildings? Kind of, yeah, but not really. Like I say kind of because like you can walk, you know, into the manor. Like you, you can walk into these grounds but like you can't go into a building and then go upstairs but like you're allowed to do things like this like here's the uh the tavern right where people come for drinks and stuff you can you know kind of walk around in here and i think you can go inside yeah but there's nothing here i mean this is a top-down city builder with medieval combat so the fact that we can literally see roof joists and stuff like this in an empty room. I mean, this is impressive. I mean, you can't do anything with this, but, I mean, still. I mean, this is pretty wild. The fact that a building's not just an empty... You know, it's not an empty blank space inside there. It's actually modeled inside and out, you know? Yeah, there's a first-person mode in Anno as well, yeah. And then you can also walk into the farm a little bit. But it's it's kind of just more like empty buildings. It, it's that's fine. I mean, again, this isn't you know medieval dynasty or kingdom come deliverance. So yeah, you can walk into the little barn, and I think people will be working in here sometimes. You'll see them doing stuff. But yeah. So you know, not not bad. I mean, that that that's more than I would have expected. I expected nothing, really. All right, let's check on our towns again. Wentworth. Oh, good. We're getting the housing uh, problem done. And hopefully we've got a lot of that wood transport. We have too much fire, uh, too much wood. So before we clear more land, I want to do farming here, but I got to get that land cleared before we do it. So that's why I built a bunch of houses to try to clear the land a little bit. We have people dedicated to... Yes. We're making planks here. 356. Wow. 
Yeah, we can take over the whole map, yeah. Uh, we're going to go to war. We can only go to war when we have 2,000 influence. So I'm trying to, like, get a bunch of food and give it to the church to get influence. That's pretty much the only way unless the enemy attacks us. But unfortunately, I can't just, like, march an army into a territory and be like, oh, this is mine now. Like, I have to, like, <laughs> I have to, like, pay a fee, and that fee is not payable in anything other than influence. All right, looks like things are good in this town. We haven't had anybody move in yet, though. Do we have planks yet? Nope, but we should work on planks. Let's try to make planks right away. Ah, there's still berries there. Winter is indeed approaching. Are they building anything? Well, unless we got lots of food. Food is not going to be a problem. Let's do a chicken coop. Yeah, let's get the food variety up. <sighs> Speaking of influence, woo -loo -loo. <laughs> Uh What are you going to put in the open area below the church in Wentworth? Uh, let's see. I think more homes. I'm gonna. Uh, these are all going to be uh, tier two and tier three homes. Actually, we're going to put a buffer. These are probably going to be maybe tier two, so these could be tier three. But I'm going to put the nicest houses around the church. This town needs more love, but uh, it just needs more time, too. I, I just got to get people coming in. And they're doing their thing. We got to build that church, though. That's, that's what need, needs to happen. Yeah, I try to build our cities like what you would do in Anno, where in Anno you need um, in Anno you need worker. Well, you need farmers, workers, artisans, engineers, and then eventually, what is it, investors? Um, and you have to have the farmers do the farming. So you got to keep those those tier workers in order to work the farm. So it's the same idea here, where it's like, you know, I want to keep Burgage plots tier one because. I mean, we could build a tier house, tier three house here, and that would employ like two families and stuff like that. But aesthetically, I just kind of don't want to do it. So it just kind of looks nicer. The the smaller plots will maybe possibly be for tier two homes, but again, for the most part, I think it'll just be tier one apple farms or maybe actually beekeeping. Which I want to see beekeeping, but I kind of already know what it is. Like we plop down the bee building, assign two people to it, it makes. 8 million honey. I can't store enough of it. We try to sell it. Can't store I guess, can't sell enough of it. We end up with too much money and we're the victim of our own success and triumph. Mhm. Mm A new month. We're into November. Game idea at the start of a playthrough or develop as you go. Some kind of military, agricultural, diplomatic. Yeah, exactly. And uh, there should be a future feature for this game to like specialize a town. There's a really interesting feature here for when you go to settle lands. This is kind of cool. Like when you click on something, um, 
I better... I better save real quick. It looks like, and this is what I really want to experiment with later in the game, is that right now we're just building towns in the other sectors. But in the future, and these are grayed out though, we could build a farming village, a forest village, and a mining village. So I wonder if we choose to specialize the town, if it'll unlock particular buildings related to that industry. Right now we have development points at the top of the, you know, there's these development points that are kind of locked to having the town a certain level, but it would be more fascinating to me if, like, for example, if we went down Farming Village, if some of those were already pre, like, unlocked for us, or if we went down Forest or Mining, it'd be cool to have some of these already unlocked because then we could choose to do other things. So, like, if we went down Farming, it'd be cool if, like, the first, you know, four things were free. Like, we could get these and then choose one of these and then buy some other stuff later but then also we could specialize in like commerce. So a farming village that's really good with commerce would make sense. Like you could make a lot of money from uh, making clothing, for example. You know, you could have livestock going, have them go on the fields and then turn all that into clothing and then profits. So I wonder, like, you know, yeah, they mentioned mining town, they mentioned uh, forest town, and then they mentioned farming. But there's no, uh, and then maybe a town could just be a balance or like a mix of all of those. But anyway, if it unlocked particular buildings that were only special to that town. That would make that town really important. Really important. So then, if you got invaded, you need to make sure you defended that town. Because losing that would be devastating. So it brings that level of importance of defending it even higher. So, a farming village could go from just being a little old farming village to a fortified place because of its strategic location on the map. The fact that it produces clothing, that makes a lot of money. And then also... Um, you know, maybe you could use all that money to also build a military base not to defend that place, but also to launch all your future invasions. So it could be really like the start of it all. You know what I mean? Do, do you know what I am saying? You do. Uh, how are we doing at... Uh, wow, Wentworth only has 10 food? That can't be right. Wow. Got lots of firewood, though. I'm trying to trade back bread. It looks it looks like bread's at least coming in, so they're eating a lot of that. And maybe the numbers are trending up. Also, how do we have all these animals? We can't hunt the animals fast enough. I don't want to build two tents, though. It's not... I think that's too many. Yeah, you can have one manor per region, right? Exactly. Thanks again, Ollie. Thank you very much, dude. Well, this looks like Visby and Gotland Svaria. Yo yo. Oh, really? Nobody's moved in here yet, concerning. And we don't have fuel, and we're going into winter. All right, we need to make a change. Where is the uh, logging camp? We haven't made a firewood cutter yet. Well, I guess I'll put it near the storehouse, because that's where it goes. crossroad here and then we got to go up to the church so this is gonna be end up this is gonna end up being like a main street here okay and then we need the 
Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, we're starting to make planks too. All right, then we'll get somebody working on that. We gotta get that church up though, because they have a weird food problem going on now thing that where they didn't store bread but hey we got three food varieties so that's good then we need a market for them we should build damn and I haven't even well all right we'll build a mini market I'm gonna make it not too crazy we uh, we do better than that well let's make it with the well in the middle No. I will right, we'll do two markets. We'll do... That's ah, too small. Seven is too much. What the hell's going on? Actually, I got an idea. What if we start this way? That'll square it up. Still two? Flute guy's going again. The, the flute man is going. Fifteen stalls? Alright, that's not that bad. Well, that's too many for this area, though. Well, maybe it won't be forever. Eighteen. Uh, let's go with fifteen, because I want them to fill a different area. Another 11. Well, it looks nice with the well being a centerpiece, but I find it weird next to the farms. But that's alright. Like, we will do a lot of uh, tier 1s down here. So we'll make the, the top area tier uh, tier 2 requirement. Do, 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 do. That's right, Indrid. You can flute if you want to. Yeah, you could leave your friends behind. But if they don't flute and if they don't toot, then they're no friends of mine, I guess. You know, mandatory requirement. This town's going to be a pain to get pushing, but... Hey, that's the same problem with the uh, other town, too. The uh, When we made uh, Wentworth. Wentworth started out real slow. Oh, look at that. They immediately finished the food stall. Perfect. Wentworth is now starting to roll. Like, I see the potential here. Well, I, I, I always did, but now I see what I'm going to be doing. Let's get this town up to the next tier, so we got to get we got to get three tier three town going. We need clay um, tiles. Yeah, the music's great, I know. Let's receive tiles now. And we'll upgrade the church. And we'll also use some of the money that we've made to make more food. We'll do a little vegetable plot. Chickens. Do every other there. That should give us a lot more hides for making shoes. Cool. 
What's up, Dark Mayu? Welcome back, dude. Grow a little bit more food here. So strange, though, that we have such a huge resource for meat. Maybe I'll build another one just so we can like take advantage of the fact that there's a huge surplus. We can't bring it down. Yeah, I played the Frostpunk 2 beta. Yep. Yeah, a video's on the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I, I did a video on it, kind of just breaking it down as to what it would be. And then uh, we also did a stream on it. It only took about three hours to play through. But it was one of those, like, um, I think it was like a plotted... Uh, they wanted... <laughs> you were, like, kind of mandatory doomed to fail. You know, actually, we gathered a bunch of clay already. Maybe I could... Uh, put down a thing so we can upgrade the church earlier. Well, whatever. We'll import roof tiles for a little bit, get that church done, and then turn it off. Wow, look at that trade convoy going, dude. How does one play early? Well, you can only play with the uh, timer in the upper right corner. The big old countdown timer for release day means that it'll be available for everybody. One can play early if one can walk into Mordor. Chat, you're being funny. And we're okay, so long as there's some food, that's alright. waiting so we can make firewood. <coughs> we just need one person to bring over a log to build that building. And we got a food stall now, so that's good. I don't think there's any other construction projects going on. Nobody coming over to help out? This town's weird, man. They're not lazy town. We got 16 months of food. Alright, I'm, I'm taking people off food production. Let's go do something else. Whoa, Rabbit Girl with the 2 hundo. Thank you very much for the 200 bits. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you. Saw the vid from yesterday. Did you fix the glitch? Yeah, there was some w weird camera thing. I don't, I don't know what happened. I just I fired up Manor Lords last night after playing Green Zone Warfare, and it just worked. And then this morning, I was like, chat, it's working again. I'm excited. And then there was the glitch again. So then I restarted, and then there wasn't the glitch. So I guess when that happens, we're just going to have to do v the Vegas technique, which is just roll the dice and see what happens. Wentworth is too big, Fritzburg is too small, but Goldhoff is just right. 
Are you a bear, perhaps, Goldilocks? Perhaps both? Did I find out what hero died earlier? No, but I'm kind of afraid to look. Because I don't want to tell somebody that they... D I don't want to inform them of their death. <laughs> I don't want to tell somebody that they died. <laughs> so what we'll do is, uh, you know, we, we have a new opening. We have a new opening for a new uh, a new uh, person of the army. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. When I build another uh, manor here for uh, for Fritzburg, which maybe I don't know, this seems like a good spot closer to the center of the map maybe if anybody attacks us it's gonna actually it's gonna be through here whatever we'll just make sure we have an army ready to go people will be a part of that one I wonder if at full release will the attacks be more or less frequent, well I suppose you could adjust that there could be a slider for that I think there is a way to adjust how often you get attacked by bandits, to which I think it's great to be attacked all the time because then you get your influence done earlier and then you can expand at your own pace. Like having the points before you're ready is good and then you just spend them the moment you're ready. But once you're ready, and you got to wait around and wait around and wait around. It's a little annoying. Oh, good, finally. They're building the woodcutter. Come on, ladies, helmets, not a chair. Let's get a hand in. Now, the timer is six days, two minutes, and 11 seconds. It goes uh, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So we're almost down to, uh, almost down to, uh, le well, we're now less than a week, but after the weekend, it'll be five days, and that's exciting. Am I going to stream more Bell Ride on Tuesday? Yep. Well, um, I don't know, actually. Bell Ride has contacted me and has asked me if I want to play early. So we'll, we'll see. Tavern banger. All right, let's cut down around there. Okay, so now we just need to make firewood and then we're locked in. This town is actually looking a little bit better. Now, the last thing is firewood for the winter, and then we start building the church. And we should have planks. We have 15. Good. Five more, and we're done. Where are the... Uh, I get so lost in this map. There it is. There's all these little, like, blades. Do the buildings upgrade themselves? No. Uh, you'll, you, you have to click on the uh, up, up, upgrade option. So what save file am I playing right now? Uh, the one we've been playing since last weekend. The usual one with the, the big pretty city. Yep. We're just building a new city. Which is kind of all part of the game. I've watched the stream so much I hear the song. I, when I go to bed I hear how much is the game. How much is the game? When does it release? Is it multiplayer? Can I build a castle? Yeah. I, I got my own custom songs for this one. This is going well. Okay. So next order of business is to flesh out the remaining sections of Wentworth, which was having a food problem. But what we're going to do here is continue to build our town down here and get those numbers up. Everybody else who moves in, which is looking good, will go towards farming once we cut all this down. So then we'll have bread. So Wentworth won't have to worry about food or anything anymore. It'll all be just thumbs up. Food, everything will be taken care of. And we're going to build the city primarily down here. So we're going to fill in all this space down here. Farming here, and then pretty much leave the rest of it alone because it's farming. I mean, uh, hunting in the manor and whatever else. And then we got to start up here on Fritzburg. So we'll clear out the entirety of the hill, build a church, and then uh, farming too. Which I think, can we farm wherever we want? Yeah, we can pretty much farm wherever we want. Maybe we'll clear out this and build a farm. So that'll be cool. Yeah, Wentworth needs cash now. Eight seven seven, cash now. Cash me outside. How about that? 
<laughs> Chat, we got to go play some Manor Lords. Let's go do it. We got ourselves a wonderful little video on why Manor Lords will probably be uh, the game of the year for this channel, at least, and for why everybody needs to be able to play it. So we're going to go live right now uh, to that video on the channel. I'm going to take a little break, and then I'll be back for more of uh, everything in just a little bit. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And uh, we're going to have to make a couple changes to some things, and it should be fine. So anyway, thank you again for watching Manor Lords. I'll be back at our usual time in the PM to continue this very save. And then in maybe tomorrow, we'll start on, or maybe, maybe we'll do it tonight. We'll start on the uh, on the edge uh, mo mode that allows us to fight against bandits who will attack us all the time. A more defense mode rather than an attack mode, which actually would be interesting. So enjoy the video as it goes live right now. I'll live redirect all of you on YouTube. It's more Manor Lords, so more of what you're watching now. 877 cash now. So click or tap that link. Thank you very much for subscribing. Don't forget, subscribe right now. Turn on that notification bell. Click or tap follow. Uh, join us on the, uh, the, the Discord and whatnot, and I'll be back in just a little bit for more. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll be back in uh, a jiffy. Thank you guys for being a part of all these awesome streams.